Welcome to the channel and welcome to Warhammer 40k 8th edition. This is a four-way clash between Death Guard, Black Legion, Alpha Legion and the pink guys. Welcome to the Eye of Terror, the home of the Chaos Gods, and inside the Eye of Terror, this bleak and blasted demon world, and on this bleak and blasted demon world, the Temple of Terror, and in the centre of the Temple of Terror, this totem. This is a place where Chaos Champions and their warbands fight and compete. This is an arena, and he who controls the totem gains the favour of their gods. Okay, this is going to be a four-way battle report called Carnage. This is it in the book, and we've brought four 1,500-point armies, and the way it works is it's five turns, and he who controls the totem at the end of every battle round gets a point. And then in the next battle round, you get a point, you get a point, you get a point. That's it. No Slay the Warlord, no First Blood, no Line Breaker. Just take the totem and get the favour of the gods. Five rounds, 1,500 points. There's a couple of other shenanigans coming in. And talking about shenanigans, joining me in the fight is Tiny Luke, say hi Paul, and the claw. Oh, hi. Hi Paul. <laughs> right, so this is going to be interesting because there's three of you in the room and with me that's three and a half because these guys, they're, they're large and I'm tiny. So <laughs> this is going to be very interesting. Uh, we're going to descend into chaos quite literally while we're filming and trying to remember all the rules, trying to remember all the shenanigans. We don't know who's got which quarter yet. You divide into quarters, you stay nine inches away from the center, and at the start of battle round one, you'll roll a dice. You roll to see roll off to see who goes first. And whoever wins the roll off goes first. And then at the start of the next battle round, you roll a dice to see who goes first. So technically, one of you could finish the end of a battle round and then start the next battle round, which is weird. And you can also pay command points to bribe your opponents to pick on the other opponents. And that's Yay. in the book as well. <laughs> and everyone's quite pleased about that. We're also chucking in a couple of extra rules as well. Just because we're mental. One of them is meteoric debris. We're doing that, a version of that anyway. So at the start of every battle round, this demonic world will reach up and cause mortal wounds to uh, units. Uh, we'll cover that rule as and when we hit it. So basically, yeah, uh, mortal wounds will be happening at the start of every battle round. And because we're in the Eye of Terror, we're fighting in a psychic maelstrom. Basically, what that means is you perils on a double. Any double you roll, your perils, but you don't follow the perils of the rules in the main rule book. Instead, you roll on this table here. And the other thing that means is uh, all psychers can cast an extra psychic power. And we've all got psychers, right? Yes. Excellent. So lots of psychic shenanigans going off. And the range of psychic powers are doubled. So we're casting extra psychic powers. We're going to be doing the terrors of the warp table a lot instead of perils of the warp. Fighting over a thing, Temple of Terror. I think, of, has everyone got that? Yes. You're going to have to help me in this one, guys. We will. We try. My brain is already melting. Right, this is 1,500 points worth of Death Guard and Typhus is trying to earn the favour of their Chaos God, Nurgle. He and the End of All Things are coming to this place to smash these other three tiny, puny legions. So Typhus will be my warlord. Joining him is this demon prince. He's got the suppurating plate. And curse of something, no, miasma of pestilence and putrescent vitality. This one will have gist of contagion. Those are their psychic powers. Remember, we can do an extra psychic power a turn, which is nice. And Typhus has brought along 40 friends with him. Ty Typhus is yeah. the host yeah. of the destroyer hive. He makes zombies wherever he walks. So he's got 40 zombies with him. And Poxwalkers become plus one strength, plus one toughness when Typhus is around. So there's strength four, toughness four, which is nice. Um, seven Plague Marines and two units of seven, seven Blight Lord Terminators. Someone said there would be a fight. So basically Typhus is bringing along the big boys and a mob of zombies with him to have this fight. Now, this actually comes in at about 1470. I could stick a whole other Plague Marine in that unit of seven there to make it a unit of eight. But that would make it a unit of eight, not a unit of seven. So I haven't. So that's 1,470 something points. Let's go have a look at the blue guys. 
Right, this is just under 1,500 points worth of Alpha, Alpha Legion. This is a battalion, six command points. Six command points. Um, what am I looking at here, Claw? Okay, what you've got is you've got a sorcerer. Yes. Uh, called Alpharius. You've got a uh, Chaos Champion. Warlord. Warlord, okay. Called Carl Alpharius. Yes. And an Apostle called Alpharius. They're all Alpharius. They're all Alpharius, and there's a few mingled in there as well. Okay, and probably a few Alpharius is in mine as well. Yeah, and the other two armies. <laughs> Um, what we've got is we've got two squads of five marines. Yes. Because uh, most of our marines are out spreading chaos all over the universe. Yes. Uh, we've got 40 um, lunars that we've kind of rounded up. And okay. More than willing to fight for us. Yep. Uh, we've got some possessed in the back. Right. There was an accident uh, in all <laughs> travel. Um, and they are the most demony thing that we've got because Alpharius. Or, uh, the Alpha and the Alpha Legion can't really get pretend to be a loyalist with lots of demon engines no, and that kind of stuff. No. So that's why I haven't got lots of demons. They would kind of give the game away. They would give the game away, but yes. they were an accident. Yes. Honest. Someone dropped a warp flask. Yeah. Uh, we've got some bikes. Yes. Uh, for the fast dash for the center. Right. Uh, at the back, we've got some havocs with uh, all heavy bolters. Yes. And in the center, we've got um, a Hellbrute. Yes. But it looks a lot like a dreadnought because we can't describe it, uh, hide hell brutes on a loyalist world. No. And we've got a predator. Yes. Just the twin link on top. Wow. Because I think it looks better. It does look more like a tank. Yeah. And we can hide it as a rhino if we need to as well. Yes. It's all about hiding stuff. Yes. And we've got a basic rhino in the background. Okay. So you've actually brought bikes along a fast thing because you thought about the scenario. Yeah. That's good. Um, reading the scenario would help, I guess. <laughs> All right, 1,500 points just south of Alpha Legion. I am Alpharius. Let's go and have a look at the black guys. Right, this is 1499 of Black Legion. It's a battalion with, I think it's the spearhead, the one with the extra heavy, as you can see, four heavies in the back there. So everyone's got six command points, but Tiny Luke brought along seven command points with him. And what am I looking at, Luke? Right. For the battalion, you have uh, Dark Apostle. Yes. And he's got the Black Mace as a relic. Okay. Exalted Champion. Yes. Okay, with eight Berserkers being uh, corny. Yes. What are the corn Berserkers for the Black Legion called? The Hounds of Abaddon. Hounds of Abaddon. That was nice. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, in the back there, you've got uh, Warp Talons. Yes. And uh, three lots of Cultists. Yes. Um, and a Rhino and a Pred. Yes. And then for the Spearhead, Demon Prince. Right. Um, what powers have you given him? I've given him warp time, yes. and I've got the Tzinch. Zinch thingy, Bob. Yeah, and Smite. So Mark, uh, Weavers of Fate, so basically plus one to his invul. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, and then two Mortal Fiends, right. with a Lash Tendril and a, a Tri Pred. So you've got quite a bit of shooting with, these are two Tri Lads Predators there. Yes. And then two Demon Engines running up the middle of the table. Yes. I think I'm staying away from you. <laughs> okay, uh, 1,499 points worth of Black Legion. Now we go to the pink ones. <laughs> right, this is just south of 1,500 points worth of Emperor's Children, commanded by Seihai Paul. It's a battalion detachment, so that's six command points as well. And uh, they're very pink. What am I looking at? Chaos Lord. Chaos Lord. Power Sword, Plasma Pistol. He has the Intoxicating Elixir Relic, which adds strength and attacks. Right. And he has the Stimulated by Pain Warlord trait. Which means for every attack you lose, uh, for every wound you lose, he gains an attack. Does he? Basically, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, sorcerer with jump pack. Right. Jump pack. Right. Flap, yeah. flappy. flappy wings. Yeah. Uh, force axe. Yep. And he's got uh, he's got smite, prescience, and the Empress Children one, which is delightful agonies. So you didn't take warp time. No. No. Uh, no. Warp time's a bit cheaty, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I didn't want to just... I wanted to do a fluffy list, not just want to win. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. the taunting has started already. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> having dig. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So what we've got here is three units of noise marines. Yes. Um, one of six. Right. One of twelve yes. with sonic weapons. Yes. Well, they've all got... I should say, they've all got the doom sirens on the uh, champion. Right. Uh, WYSIWYG, so fist, sword, etc., these have got blast master, uh, sonic blasters and two blast masters. Right. Is six the number of slanish? It is. Uh, okay. And then uh, these two, this one of six, this one of twelve, have got a mix of bolters and right. chainsaws. Right. Ten possessed. Yes. Two dreadnoughts using the hellbrute stat line. This right. is a regular dread with a, a hellbrute fist and a, a twin last cannon. Isn't this. A weird gun. This one. 
this one does. Yeah. This is a Sonic Dread using the FAQ on the Forge World nice. uh, book, which is basically it's a Hell Brute, but it's got a Doom Siren and two uh, Blast Masters. Nice. As well as the Combi Bolter and other bits and bobs. Yeah. Two Rhinos Combi Bolter. Yeah. One Trilast Predator. Yeah. Trilast Predators are popular today, eh? But you only brought one, not two. Yeah, I. To be honest, I only have this fifteen hundred points, a little bit extra, but okay. uh, I didn't get around to painting much for today. So, so we have Slanesh, we have Chaos Undivided, we have Imperium, yeah, and um, we have Nur <laughs> Nurgle fighting out in this uh, Temple of Terror. Well, one minute, let's talk about some Legion-specific stuff. So, the Emperor's children ignore cover when they shoot at stuff, so right? Sonic weapons ignore cover when they shoot at stuff. Yes. The Emperor's children Legion trait is flawless perfection, which means they always fight first in the assault phase. Nice. Okay, so you're very scrappy. They also have a... Um, uh, they, they have a special rule for the noise marines, and all my marines are noise marines. That means that when they... When they die, yes. they get to fight again before they die. Really? It's called Music of the Apocalypse. Yeah. So, one minute. So you ignore cover, you yep. fight first, and you fight again when you fight. Yeah, when you die. Nice. And you don't have to roll for it like you do with a Space Marine Standard Bearer. It just happens. Uh, okay, that's cool. I like it. Music of the Apocalypse. Music of the Apocalypse. Black Legion. Right, what are these guys? I know they've got like plus one leadership or something. They've got advanced leadership, as you said, yes. uh, in addition... Uh, if the unit advance, they treat all rapid fire weapons as assault weapons. Okay. Until the end of the turn. So, so you can run forward and shoot your rapid firing as assault in. Yes. Is that it? Uh, for that trait, but then the other one's not really accountable because we were just fighting chaos. Um, okay. Because it's first amongst traitors, so death to the false emperor doesn't really, unless Alpha Legion, you know. Um, Shall we give him death to the false emperor for Alpha Legion? No. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Death of the False Emperor isn't kicking in because there's no False Emperors here and normally Black Legion would have extra buffs with Death of the False Emperor. Yes. That's a shame, isn't it? To be honest, so do Noise Marines, if they take the Banner of Flanesh makes uh, Death of the False Emperor explode on five rather Does than it? six. Well, well, yeah. First, first of yeah. Two, yeah. Okay, so both of you haven't got that then, which nah. is nice. <laughs> which right. is really nice to each other. So uh, what does Alpharius do? Well, uh, a couple of things. One, the Warlord. I yes. have to randomly select my Warlord trait. Right. Uh, because when he dies, yes. one of the other two Alpharius step up to become my Warlord. So any one of these could be your Warlord? Yes. Okay. Uh, right. On a normal game, uh, you wouldn't be able to kill the Warlord until the last one's dead. Yes, because there's no Slay the Warlord in this. But uh, uh, So when another one becomes a Warlord, do you generate another Warlord trait? You randomly have to select one. So I've just, ro I've just rolled for mine, and I've got Hatred Incarnate to start right. off with, with the Chaos Warlord. What does that mean? That gives me uh, a re-roll wound rolls of one. Okay, so he's re-rolling wound rolls of one. When he dies, you generate another one for another one. Yeah. Because okay. I am Alvarius. And all of these guys are minus one to hit when you shoot at them more than 12 inches away. Yes, because we're hiding in the shadows. Sorry. And then Death Guard. Um, inexorable advance, which means rapid fire weapons. Um, rapid fire at 18 inch range instead of 12 inch range. And I've got um, disgustingly resilient across the board. So five up ignore wounds, including... Mortal wounds and his. So we're deployed for this 1,500 point four way free for all carnage battle and all that took a long time. And uh, the way it worked is say hi, Paul. Started putting down some units first, and then Luke, who we're now going to call Chewy because that's your name in the Discord chat for the patrons, yeah. so everyone knows who you are. And no, it wasn't, it was you, and then Claw, and then Chewy, and then I don't know. <laughs> we're deployed. Um, <laughs> In my deployment, I put two screens of pox walkers and the plague marines. The plague marines went up there. Terminators, typhus, demon prince. Now another unit of terminators came over here because the claw put a rhino with some stuff in it right there. Mm -hmm. So that was fighting talk. So I put my terminators there. So then he put forty cultists, which are gonna, yeah, swamp my <laughs> terminators, and they're not gonna go anywhere. And uh, during deployment, say hi, Paul, put a large unit of noise marines up in the temple there. The rules for this game are you have to deploy more than nine inches away from the totem in the middle of the table. But you can be as close to each other on the sides of the deployment. I mean, technically, I could have put my unit right next to these cultists there if I wanted to. So anyway, say hi, Paul, put some there. So we had a unit of Havocs already um, in this spot here. So I put my... 
uh, Plague Marines up in this bit, and uh, Luke Chewy put his uh, warp talons in that bit there. Long story short, there are four units in the Temple of Terror already. Uh, it's going to get messy. Um, over here, you've got a couple of units forward operatives yep. in reserve. So your Apostle and a unit of Possessed, <coughs> which are going to pop up somewhere on the battle grid at some point, because that's very Alpha Legion. Yep. The bike's the fastest thing on this table, let's face it. If you get turn one, the gunk, you're going to be on there straight away into the Maelstrom of Death. I don't know if I'd do that, but uh, it's no. certainly an option. And who are these guys? They are my reserve where everybody's dead. They're yes. going to run up to, uh, right at the end of the game and, and claim the objective. Okay, I like it. And then there's a hell brute back in this corner here. Um, and then you've got... Uh, are these people in the rhinos, Paul? Yeah, that's got my warlord and six nose marines. Is he? Okay. That's got ten possessed. Okay, ten possessed. And then the predator back there. Uh, hell brute there. Sonic dreadnought. Yeah. And then uh, Chewie put his Trilaz Predator there. So you put a Hellbrook right in front of it. Dreadnought, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of fighting talk going on in this game. And another unit that doesn't know his Marines. Is there? Yeah. Okay, there's another unit down there. Um, another thing to note is infantry can move through ruins. Um, they have the tools to cut through or climb through these windows. These vehicles are going to have to go round. So this is a no-go zone for vehicles going over there. They're going to have to go round and through these gaps and then Chewie's got a lot of cultists here another unit of cultists there who's in this who's in the rhino you've got the hounds uh the apostle and the exalted champion so that your your warlord's in that one no the warlord is uh, your warlord the warlord's the demon prince okay trilaz predator um uh, another maul of fiend and you pointed your second trilaz predator right here at my at my lot. It covers most of them. So you stuck a Trilaz Predator pointing at the Plague Marines and a Trilaz Predator pointing at the um, uh, word? No, not word bearers. The pink guys. The pink guys. Empress children. Now, we're going to roll off to see who goes first. And according to the rules, you roll off every turn. So you roll off to see who goes first. You don't know who's going second yet because then you roll off to see who goes second. Then you roll off to see who goes third, etc, etc. So let's roll some dice. And we do it every turn. It doesn't stay the same sequence. Yes. It changes yes. every turn. Complete chaos. Yeah. <laughs> so he who goes last may go first. Right, so let's roll some dice. Um, I've got a dice in my hand. So I'm going to roll up. And I get a four. Five. Say hi, Paul. Four. Ooh. Five. So it's Chewy or say hi, Paul. What we got? A two and a four. Say oh. hi, Paul. I choose and the who Empress. goes first. Oh yeah, you choose, choose. who goes first. Correct. Well, look. Yeah. You got your Hellbrute, your Dreadnought, and that Predator right there. Yeah. And I think I'm going to go first. You're going to choose yourself to go first. I'm going to choose myself to go first just to try and mess up the Black Legion. Yeah, <laughs> I would too. I mean, they and defile don't... their corpses. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> em Empress Children, turn one. Who Right, turn one. Before we've even moved anything, we've got some uh, Alpha Legion have popped up in my lines. E. E. Popped up in my lines <laughs> with a apothecary, not an apothecary, Dark Apostle down there, right in my back castle. We've also, we're also doing the the meteoric debris rule from the Fire and Fury uh, battle zone thing. We've put four dice down somewhere on the battle grid. You're going first, so you roll a dice. We're ignoring five and six. And that's three. a three. Oh, Wherever good. three is, that's right next to you. <laughs> and, uh, Damn your chaos trickery. <laughs> this is uh, the ground opening up on this demon world, and it will do D3 mortal wounds to your... Go on then, mate. Yeah, you, you put it right next to it, so mm. you might as well roll the dice, Chewie. And you've done two mortal wounds to oh, the hell nice before the game even begins. Now, the meteoric debris says in every shooting phase, but because there's four of us here, there'll be 20 shooting phases. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that at the start of every battle round. In battle round one, it doesn't have that much of an impact, but in battle round two or, or three or four, when some of these characters are down to a couple of wounds left, having the ground come up and eat them might be painful. And uh, it's fun. We like hurting each other. Shall we go back into your movement phase? Yeah. Yeah. So here we are after the pink guys movement phase. Um, the rhino with the warlord and what? What? Emperor's 
Children. The rhino with the warlord and some dudes has moved up onto that objective. If he is next to the totem at the end of battleground one, say hi Paul, will be in the lead by one point. Um, the Hellbrute staying still, lining up that uh, predator there. And anything else moved here? Is no. That, no, that's it. I didn't want the minus one to shoot. They're all in range of all their targets from where they are. So yeah. yeah. And if let's face it, if you shove everything into the middle in turn one, then we're going to pick on you something chronic. So let's go on to the psychic phase. As mentioned, using the psychic maelstrom rules for the main rule book, so every psychic can cast an extra power a turn, and we get plus two to deny and plus two to casting psychic power. So there's the sorcerer, the guy with the wings. What's he doing? Delightful agonies on these guys. Okay. Casts on manifest on a six. That's a seven. Good becomes a nine. Yep, it's definitely a good thing. Um, would you like to deny with your What's it dude? do? Feel like paying five up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think I'm all right. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. And he gets to do another psychic power. Which is prescience, prescience. On, the land, on the predator. So he's chucking it back at the predator. Okay. Seven. Yeah. Six plus two, eight. Eight. So that's an eight. That was an eight to cast. So you need to beat it. So you need a nine. There's a saucer over there. The claw is rolling, and that Ooh. doesn't uh, block it. So delightful agonies and prescience. And you can do one more psychic power because of the psychic maelstrom stuff. So you can smite away, I guess. So I'm going gonna... to hit these guys, I think. Okay. Yeah, so cool. we'll, we'll, me the... we'll, we'll measure up, but let's roll some dice. It's going to break some bones and make them spasm to death in delightful, naughty agony. <laughs> let's see if you get it off. Plus two. Oh, that's what you said. <laughs> you probably can't use that. <laughs> uh, that's Ooh. a three plus two, two is five. five. That's a pass. So your demon prince can deny that, but you're gonna need a six because it's definitely hitting one some of these guys over here, and you deny it. Into the shusting phase. So spending a command point uh, for fire frenzy on the dreadnought, which means it fires twice. Fires twice as long as you shoots the nearest target, which is the trialars pred. Okay. So it's gonna be four last cannon shots yes. and uh, combi bolter twice. Okay. So and four you last cannon. Stayed still, so. I did indeed. Freeze to hit. Hits Two twice. Hit. Strength 9, toughness 7. Winning on 3s. Uh, one, 1 wound. Uh, minus minus three, 3 AP, you need a 6, Dewey. Where are we rolling? Roll We're rolling it. there. And that's a 6. So the four last cannons did nothing, but uh, one of the bolters actually took a wound off the Predator. And now you've got this tri Predator here with prescience on. You could shoot the Predator with the Predator. I could shoot the Predator with the Predator. I am going to shoot the Rhino with the Predator. But... Why? But that means that predator might be open to fire up at this predator over here. It might, but I could always bribe him later, and I think he cares oh, more about killing the Death Guard. D no, no, <laughs> the Death Guard have done nothing yet. We're quite friendly and cuddly. I don't think he wants to kill the Death Guard. You don't want to kill the Death Guard, do you? A little bit. A little bit. There's already bribing talk going on here. So what are we shooting at what, sir? Four last cannons yes. into that rhino. Into a rhino? Rhino, yeah. That's Which, like a it's, it's got berserkers and characters in there. Right. I don't want to be charged by it. I can shoot them with these guys, then charge and get a buttload of attacks in on them okay. first. Well, you're, so you're trying to crack it open. Trying to crack it open. Okay. Uh, Go on, throw it here. Okay. Two is because it's prescience. Um, and that's three hits. That's four. Two is because it's prescience, plus yeah. one a hit. Okay. Yeah. They all hit. Strength nine, toughness seven. Threes. And they all, all wound. Pen. They all pen this time. You need a wound, sorry. Yes. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And this time you pass one. You one. fail three. So three D6 damage. And that's no, ten two. wounds. A rhino has ten wounds. That's a dead rhino. And that's not first blood. Because there is no first blood. Does it blow up? No. It doesn't blow up. How many guys you got in there? I've got ten. Ten guys. Let's see how many scramble out of the wreckage. And how many ones? Two. Two ones. So two get caught in small arms as they come clambering out and die. Then the Hounds of Abaddon come scrambling out the rhino there. And now they're going to get lit up by some small arms by the noise marines. And the Doom Siren and the rapid firing mass reactive rounds only managed to kill two of them. Then next, this Hellbrute fired its combi bolter down at the uh, Hounds of Abaddon, killing one of them, and now it's firing its twin Blastmaster up at the Warp Talons here. 
Basically, all of Paul's firepower so far, picking on Chewie, which I, I approve of. Yeah, me too. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, not so fast. Really. So what does the twin Blastmaster do? It's got two firing modes. Okay. I'm firing the one that gives it D6 shots each. There's nice. two of them. Sorry, D3. Right. So I'm going to get two D3 shots. Okay. Strength eight. Yes. D3 damage. Minus two AP ignores cover. That sounds painful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number of shots is six, six shots. Hits on threes. Uh, and is that five, five hits? Five hits. Strength eight. Yeah. Toughness mm. four. Wounding on twos. twos. And everything wound. Five wounds at minus what AP? Minus two ignores cover, so it's just your invulner okay. invulnerable demon save, I yeah. think, sir. Fives. And oh, that's pretty good as well. You good. save three of them, only two of them die. That could have been worse. More shooting. This Rhino advanced to get onto this objective. This Rhino fired a combi bottle down into the bikes, did nothing. And now I think the last thing left to fire is this big unit of noise marines. And you're doing blast masters at the plague marines and then some shots at the wall. Some sonic blasters. Yes. Three sonic blasters of that one. Yes. Six of them. Right, it's a lot of dice all over the place, so we'll roll the saves on camera, but hitting on threes and wounding on something, then we'll come back to the saves. And the Noise Marines did three wounds to these guys, so there would be two up saves, but they ignore cover, so these are three three up saves. And they all make it, and then three wounds on the Havocs, so three three up saves. And two of them die. That's unfortunate. <laughs> um, but, and then two with the Blast Masters came in on the Plague Marines, uh, and then minus two. Minus two. Minus two, so my three up becomes a five up. Um, and I make one fail one, and it does D3 damage, right? D3. Which is three, three. damage. Three disgusting the resilience to keep one Plague Marine alive. I make two of them, but one Plague Marine dies. <laughs> and that's the end of the shooting phase, only no, he isn't. You Two command points, yes. endless cacophony. Right. Let's do that again. Okay. Are you firing at the same target, same units with the same stuff? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, burning the command point, one more wound on the warp talents. And Ooh. you fail it. So one of those dies. Uh, how many wounds on the Havocs? It was three wounds on the Havocs, right? Yeah, three on the yep. Havocs. Even at minus one yep. to hit, that was Missed nice. Missed a couple of extras because of minus one to hit. So three wounds for the Havocs, and one more Havoc dies. And how many did you get on the Plague Marines? Two. Two, two five-up saves. And I make one again. Another D3. And three. you do three again. Disgustingly resilient. And another one dies. Oh, shoot. At the end of the Schusting phase, we've lost a number, uh, three Havocs, two of these guys, a bunch of Warp Talons. You've opened up a can of whoop ass, literally, because <laughs> the hands of that. And the Babylons have stood there, and they're quite angry. Morale is definitely going to be a thing for them, but you've only scratched the Predator. Now you can charge, sir. Um, I don't think you're anywhere in charge range of us, but you can pick on the Black Legion, please. Um, so what are you charging with? Go on, then. <laughs> uh, dread. Pred. Dread versus Pred. Um, oh, yeah, let's see if he gets in. He will be in, but you've got four last cannons on Overwatch, which they all miss. So that's interesting. And then your noise marines into noise the... Noise marines into all three of these units. Okay, so roll the charge and then we'll do the overwatch off camera. And they're in as well. Right, the pink dudes have piled in. Um, who's doing what to what? Right, these first three guys yes. are going to attack the Dark Apostle. Okay. So uh, six attacks on the Dark Apostle. Right. They have two attacks each. Uh, they nice. do. Or oh, that. Yeah, they do. They yeah. Do. For a moment I just thought, better than one war? But I think I'm, I'm no. spending them fast enough. Yeah. Freeze to here. Um, and you get four, three hits, just three hits on the Dark Apostle. Forced to wound, three wounds. Dark Apostle has a what save? Three up. Three up save on your Apostle. He's not the Warlord, the Demon is. He's fine. And he's fine, he takes it like a boss. Um, and then all the other guys on the yep. Hounds of Abaddon, the Berserkers. One of which has a power sword. Okay, swinging away with the sword. Two hits, and wounding on fours. One wound. You'll get a six up save on this because AP is minus. Ooh. No, one's dead. And then all the other ones hitting the berserkers there. Now these are an elite's choice. Troops for you. Mm -hmm. Two attacks each. Some have chainsaws, so they're hitting on trees with a boatload of attacks. And remember, if you kill these guys, they get to fight back. They get to fight anyway. Fight first in combat or fight anyway, even if they die. 13 hits, wounding on fours. Uh. Four wounds, only four wounds after all that. So four, three up saves on your berserkers. And, ooh, two of them are dead. Is that your unit? That's the unit gone. Nasty. 
So the noise marines pile into the uh, champion and the apostle. What did you say? I said um, we've got more of behind them, and, not, and then the demon prince. So yeah, we're not overly worried. Do they yeah. really want to be there? They're, they're too jacked up on their own um, d desire to defile. Let's, let's, let's say <laughs> to, to have really noticed what's going on here. <laughs> so they're going to get a rude awakening, and a probably for them quite a pleasant death. Yeah. <laughs> They thought that they were doing a, a good job taking out all those uh, corn berserkers, but uh, I think they're between a rock and a really hard case there. Right, Dreadnought versus Predator. How many attacks? Four. Threes to hit. Um, three. Three hits, strength. Twelve. Wounding on threes. I believe it's, it might not be twelve. It's, it's eight it's, or more. Okay. It's, at least, it's at least three up. Okay, so two wounds, and is it minus? Minus three AP, three damage, so six up saves. Oh. And you fail both of them. He took a wound to a bolt gun shell, now he takes six more. So that's seven down. I think that puts him on four left. I think it's four left, or maybe three. We'll work it out. Mm. Anyway, because he's in an assault, he won't be shooting next turn unless he falls back. And I believe that's the end of your turn. Yeah, just so morale left. Just morale. So we don't have any morale on the Plague Greens because I lost two leadership bait. Have we got morale here? Yes. Yes, morale on these guys, oh, six. six but you're Black Legion, so you're plus one. So your leadership should be nine, nine. if the sergeant's still in there. Yeah. So you're okay. And you lost three Havocs. Will the Alpha Legion run? The Alpha Legion will not run. Everyone holds their nerve in the Temple of Terror. And now we need to find out who goes second. We yes. do. So it's a roll off again. I've got the camera in my hand. Let's roll a dice. I got a five. Hmm. Black Legion, three. three. Alpha Legion, three. Oh, I'm going second. You're choosing who goes second. Oh, I do choose who goes second. Now, I've got some spiky bits in my back passage here, which you rudely deep struck in there. Uh, so no. if I don't go first, if I don't, you could potentially charge me. You could always persuade me to attack the Black Legion. I could potentially bribe you with command points to attack the Black Legion. It would be funny to let Chewie go second. <laughs> <laughs> Because of all this mess over here. Yeah, let's do that. You, <laughs> you can go second. <laughs> Edit, before we go on to Dewey's turn, he can fight back with his Dark Apostle against these Noise Marines. So uh, he hits on twos, I think? Hits on twos. We roll him. Okay, so he gets three hits in there and he wounds on. He w his strength, uh, seven. Seven, okay. Black so mace. Threes to wound. We roll him to wound. Oh. Because of the pick. Um, because they're the champion or something? Yeah, or champion. So, okay. And that's minus two, two damage. Minus two, two damage. So three five-up saves to keep the pink dudes alive. And they all die. Three of them die. Okay, they get to fight back. Do they? Yeah. Again. They get to they fight get to, again. You kill them, they fight. Do they? Nice. Yep. And then the champ... Does they fight now or do yeah, they fight they after they the fight champion now. hits? So three of them will now smack the... Oh, this gets complicated very quickly. The apostle <laughs> before they fall. This is delightful agonies. So you've hurt... Uh, it's music of the apocalypse, this okay. is. So you've hurt them, and they quite like being hurt. But you have just made a very good point. What? Um, That's too Did rude. they die? Because they have delightful agonies on them. Oh, yeah. Each you've one got two wounds. Five up. Sorry. Five no. up ignore wounds. He did die, because it's still one wound. And the last one... Did die. Okay. So, as we were... Right, they did die. You did two As we wounds. were, two saves. Two saves... On the yes, one wound. wound. Okay. So long story short, Apostle takes out three of them before they die screaming. They quite like screaming. They put one wound back on the Apostle. Now the champion steps up and swings, hits on twos, and everything hits. What's he got? What's he he's fighting got with? An axe. An axe. So he's winning on threes. And one to wound. Nice. And he wounds every time. And axe is a minus two. So four wounds to save on your pink dudes, whatever they're called. Noise Marines. Noise Marines. Uh, you save two. And then you've got Delightful Agonies on these two. Is it or one damage called? each? Yeah, yeah. power axes. No, so okay, two, two more five. die. So these ones have chainsaws. So right. he'll die. Yeah. Looks like this. And then they strike back threes. Uh, and they got chainsaws. So we've got three hits and fours. And two wounds on your champion. Two... Three up save them, champion? Yeah. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Two wounds. He takes two wounds. So as these two heroes, Black Legion heroes, step up and wipe out these noise marines, one takes two wounds, one takes one wound, they get uh, mad, crazy, pleasure, pain, psycho dudes biting at their kneecaps as they fall down. Now you have a morale test to make, which is a four plus, how many did you lose? Uh, five. Five. Nine. Leadership's eight. eight. Maybe one died. Yep, yeah, one more flirt in the morale phase. What did you say? No, he didn't run away. He's just spasming on the ground, flopping like a carp with a massive bread on his face. I like it. Okay, and then the Pred hit the Dread and did nothing. Right, now that is the end of the fight phase, and now we're on to Chewie's movement phase. Right, in the Black Legion movement phase, despite letting Chewie go before me, his cultists are charging towards my Poxwalker. So a cultist Poxwalker sandwich, that slap first could last for a very long time. Don't know where the Morlefiend's going. He could try and get tied up with some pox walkers forever. But uh, it looks like he's coming over to these guys over here. Uh, the Possessed, because they could cause problems for both the Black Legion and the Death Guard. Um, we had these cultists try and run through the middle to get onto that objective, because let's face it, if there's no one else next to that objective at the end of the battle round, say High Paul will get a point. But they only advance one. Um, got one for their advance and moved seven through the ruin there. So instead he decided to jump his warp talons down. Now it suddenly occurs to me that whoever goes last in this game has got a very powerful turn. Yes, you go in last after three people pick on you. But say for example the Alpha Legion go last. They could zip up with their bikes and outnumber the other units on this objective and get a point. And as that's the only way of scoring points in this carnage game in the middle of the Temple of Terror... That's a very viable tactic. For example, if I want to get there, I've got to run with some very slow stuff. So if I don't want to run with some very slow stuff, I've got to kill the stuff, which means killing the warp talons and the rhino and everything that pulls out of the rhino to deny them from getting it. It, it might actually get tactical rather than just pure chaos, because right now, <laughs> forgotten fight phases so far. Right, so these guys moving up, tactical stuff happening in the middle. Uh, Morlefiend coming in to help that uh, already injured Dark Apostle and the champion against these noise marines and the Demon Prince jumping up and over trying to free the Predator. You're not pulling the Predator out of combat. No. Really? Yeah. You, you think you can kill the Hellroot first before he smashes it open? Yes. That's confident. I like your confidence. Right, Psychic Phase and with Psychic Maelstrom, Demon Prince can cast two powers now instead of one. So what are you doing first? Doing a smite on the Dreadnought. Smiting. Hellbrute, sorry. Hellbrute. Dreadnought! Uh, that is a nine, plus two is an eleven. Um, is... Do you wish to attempt to deny that? Is it going to be D6 for the eleven? Well, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a D6 damage. You're right, it's over ten. Mm. Uh, because any over ten... You get plus two to deny... Uh, and that's a 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You've got 10, Chewie's on 11. So you haven't denied, but it will do D6 damage to the Dreadnought. It's got 7 wounds left, right? 6. 6 wounds left. 6 to kill it. Got a 4. It's down to 2 wounds. Now you can do another Psychic Test. So Weaver of the Fates. Give Weaver of Fates. One. Plus 1. Mm -hmm. And that's an 8. Does yes. anyone want to deny that? Is anyone? I'm not in range to deny it. Okay, so plus one in Vun on your demon. He's a four up and vulnerable save. That dreadnought's still alive on two wounds left. Right, let's shoot some guns. Okay, in the shooting phase, we had a pistol going to the noise marines and bouncing then two units of cultists firing everything into these unit of pox walkers here, which is quite rude. Hitting on fours, winning on fives because I'm plus one toughness. And I only lose three. Disgustingly resilient kicking in there. And now we've got a Trilaz Predator firing, and he's got lots and lots of targets. And so what are you choosing, Chewie? I'm choosing that squad there. This squad up here in the ruins? Yeah, the noise marines. Because if I went for the rhino, that yes. would pop over more troops. It will, yeah. And so, potentially... But then your Clory guys could charge them and have a very nice time. And there's Terminators there and all sorts. Don't get him started on my Death Guard for me. They're fine. They're I haven't they're touched they're... anyone yet. They're, they're defending that point, potentially, with lots of firepower. Right. They're nowhere to go at the minute, because they're pox walkers. So that's tactics there. Yeah. You're thinking they've got a commanding field of view. Yes. Yeah, and I like it because it's not my stuff. So threes to hit with the Trilos Predator. And, and you get one rubbish. hit. That's brilliant. And you do, you do wound. That's it's minus it. three AP. You've got plus one to the ruin, so I think that's a five. And you fail to save, it does d6 damage, one of them definitely gets vaporised. Right, taking one away, and what happens now? 
Well, he gets to shoot with the music of the apocalypse, so I'm gonna fire at these guys. That's rude. And he hits once. And no. he doesn't wound. Okay. That's a, that was a sigh of relief there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think, have you got any more shooting? I haven't. No. Okay, so let's go. Let's, let's fight. Right, in the charge phase, first unit of cultists slam into the pox walkers. They didn't get very far. The second unit did get very far and have been able to come around the edge here. Uh, as predicted, the Mauler Fiend and the Demon Prince are in uh, these units over here. And because Chewie likes picking on everyone, because that's Paul, this is me, he's also going for the Claw as well. Um, uh, Claw's trying to bait him into going for the Poxwalkers with his Morphine. <laughs> but uh, he's worried about the Possessed suddenly jumping into his tri Predator. I wouldn't do that, honestly. I, 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 I am. <laughs> no, definitely go for these guys. It does mean you've got a war across three fronts, by the way. Well, so is Paul, so you know. That's true. Let's, uh, we did the Overwatch, let's see if you roll Snake Eyes on this charge, because that would be hilarious. You don't roll Snake Eyes, it's 15, oh sorry, 15, 11, he is in. And I'm going to be using Demon Forge. Alright, so what are you punching first, Chewie? I'm going to use the Mauler Fiend. Yes. So, the last tendrils first, I've used Command Point for Demon Forge to so re-roll into hit, re-roll into wound. Okay, so one Command Point down, Demon Forge, re-roll hit, re-roll wound, I like it. Uh, how many attacks does this bad boy have? He's got six with the lesser tendrils, right. and then he's got four um, with his mauler fist. Ten attacks? Yes. Nice. So it's what's striking good. first? I'm going to use my lesser tendrils. Okay. All right. So he hits on... Fours. Nice. So good, job. Good, good job. Good job you that demon force. <laughs> Two hits so far. Oh, look at that. Converted six hits. Now that was worth a point. And uh, this is strength what? It's strength user. Okay. And then it's minus... Is this strength three? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> that didn't. See, did you hear the tumbleweed? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I had to move my feet as it went past. <laughs> yeah. uh, I suppose my mind just going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wounding on. It'll be um, threes? threes. Yeah. Yeah. Then re roll into wounds. Okay. Uh, you, well, okay, so all wow. six wounds at minus what AP? It's minus two. Minus two. So AP two. But possessor of a five up and vulnerable save anyway. Do they have more than one wound? Yeah. Two. 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 And this does two damage each. Really? Is it? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, you fell yeah, every minus, single minus save. Minus two, uh, two damage. Minus two, two damage. <gasps> six oh, possessed. Wow. Get fried by that thing. And it's... And the pain isn't overclaw. We've got some more punchy fists coming in. So yes. how many were the fists? Four. So hitting on fours again, re-rolling the misses. Okay. All four All hit. Four. And then strength. strength times two, so it's okay. moving on twos. And you didn't even need the re-roll. So uh, four more wounds, four five up invulnerable saves on it's possessed. Stingy. And you fell all of them. And with some awesome dice rolling, or with the power of chaos, this Morlafine runs through all of those possessed, and uh, you failed every single save. Yeah. That's painful. Yeah. Sorry. That is painful. You're not. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're over here, and Paul's choosing to activate the noise marines first, interestingly enough. Well, I don't think. Yes. I'm not too bothered about the Predator. Right. Uh, it's only on four with three wounds. Right. Uh, I don't think I'll kill the Demon Prince in one go. Not with a four up and bun, no. No. And um, he's got eight wounds and I'm a flat three damage, so I'll need to get through yeah. the three wounding hits for four attacks. Yeah. So I think I'd rather try and oops, try and flick these over. Try and, try and uh, throw his models across the table. Yeah. Okay, right. So they're already injured, the apostle and the champion. So this could sting. Power sword into the uh champion. Of the champion. Uh two, two hits. Yes. Wounding on fours. No wounds. No, nada, that's disappointing. And these are the buddies, right? One's got chainsaw. Regular attacks, yeah. Threes to hit, that's four hits. And on fours. And two wounds. Two saves, please, sir. Two wounds. On one. the champion. 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 Yeah. Fine. He's fine. All right, how many on the apostle then? There's three guys, right. one which has got chainsaw, so seven attacks. Okay. Noble's number. Uh, four hits. Falls to wound. Two wounds. Two three up saves. Fine. And he's fine. You do no damage. Nada. Now, Chewie, you can select a unit and strike away. Right, well, it's going to be the Prince. Yes. Against uh, the Dread. Prince. Prince, is that four or five attacks? Four attacks. Four attacks. Right. Uh, did you give him a pair of Malefic Talons or no, a sword? No, he's got a Demon or Axe. 
Okay, I should mention I gave a pair of malefic talons on my dude. So extra ten. Yeah. yeah. So two. Uh, yeah, re-roll and he, ones because he's, he's a demon of his own yeah. type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is on the dready, right? Yes. Okay. So wounding on um, fours. fours, but if I roll sixes, it's mortal wound yes. plus an additional. Yes. Uh, two wounds. Reroll those because six inches of the. Oh, champion dude. Yeah. Uh, two wounds. Now we need a check just to make sure that that axe is strength seven, not strength. It's strength eight. It's strength eight, so it would be wounded on threes. They all wounded because your demon prince is the hell with toughness seven. Yes. is. What's minus no. three? Minus three. Plus three damage. I, I can roll four sixes. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I'm not going to, but I can. Yeah. No, it's dead hell How many damage? Three. Flat three. Does yeah. It, does it blow up? Oof, How six it does, does not not no, it's not a noise marine. That is a noise marine thing, not an Empress Children thing. Okay. And now you can pick something else to fight with because you killed everything else around you. Well, it's the Mortal Fiend because it's the one that's charged. Okay, right, yeah. So, so sixes. Uh, six um, attacks with the Lash of Tendrils. Yes. And the Lash of Tendrils hit on fours, and this time only three hits. But re rolling because I've got the Dark Apostle next to it. <sighs> It's that, oh, I know it is, it is all units, yeah, it is it's all units yeah. that came up. I like it. Again. And this wounds on threes, and then re-roll him because you've got the dude next to him. Yeah. This is a dirty combo, someone's been doing their homework. Yeah, someone wants to so win. Three. <laughs> three wounds. Three wounds. So minus two, two damage. On your dudes. And no. Two fell, uh, ecstatic stuff. Five up, ignore still damage. Still no. dies. And the other one still dies. Still dies. So two die, and they do they fight back straight away? Yeah. They do. You right can now. choose them whoever. I can choose who the target. And do you know what? These two will die on the go against the Dark Apostle. Okay. So how many attacks is that back? Four. Four attacks. Threes. Ooh. One hit. One wound on the Apostle. Can you take one more off of it? No. No, as they scrabble at his knees. Okay. Now the Mall of Fists. Mall of Fists, hitting on fours. Re-rolling. Do you re-roll everything with the champion nearby? No. The Apostle, Is yeah. Oh, the Apostle, yeah. It's a grotesque combo. So twos to wound. Twos to wound. Uh, re-roll those two. That's three. dirty. Three wounds at minus three with the fists. Yeah. And one survives, and it does a flat three damage each. So three five ups on one model. Nope. No, three fives up on another model. Yes. 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 One takes. We enjoyed that immensely. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. I'm glad I could assist. <laughs> and at the end of the scrap, it looks like that over there. Then I'm moving back over here. And I'm going to spend two command points to interrupt because this big unit of Poxwalkers, I've got 17 there. So 17 times two is 34 attacks. I'm hitting on fours. Because I'm next to Typhus. I'm wounding, I'm re rolling a hit because there's a demon prince there. And every cultist I kill, I get another Poxwalker. And if I let you go first, you're just going to you're just gonna mulch through them. So I think I need to punch you first. So let's do that. Then I piled in. So we're going to put four Poxwalkers on that unit, all the rest on this unit. Poxwalkers hit on fives. If there's more than ten, they hit on fours. So let's do the four, hitting on fours. I'm really on once because there's a demon prince nearby. And I'm strength four now because of typhus. So I think that was only three hits. And I'm wounding on threes because they're toughness three, right? Two wounds on that unit of cultists, sir. What are their saves? Five up? Six up. Six up. I kill one. Then I add one back into this squad because of Curse of the Walking Pox. Everything you kill in close combat, you add something back in. And now I've got a bunch of attacks into this unit of cultists. Hitting on fours. Rerolling ones. That was 20 hits. I'm winning on threes. 12 wounds caused, 12 six up saves. That None. unit is wiped out. And you know what? That is it. 10 cultists. Yes. They all are now zombies. And because I don't have any extra pox walkers, Chewy has graciously allowed me to uh, reanimate his cultist there. It's more in stop to injury, that. Yeah. Well. And uh, blur them back into this blob. This blob's now got 25, 30 odd, it's got a lot of zombies in it. So, yeah, that happened. Right, now what do you want to fight with, sir? That's You've got cool. your morphine. Oh, you're going to do these cultists now? Yes. Hitting on fours. It's not so good. 
And uh, these are strength three, toughness four because of typhus nearby. Right. You did manage to get five wounds. Five wounds in. Five disgustingly resilient. Um, I lose two, just two. I made three saves. I'll take two of these black ones away. And that's the end of these combats. And I've got the apostle and the... the the Apostle and the Champion trying to clear out the last of these Noise Marines. Then at the end of the fight phase, there's only two Noise Marines left alive. Um, one more dying there. We forgot to pile in with the Demon Prince, so we did it now. It ended up closer to the closest enemy unit, which is the Tribal As Predator, but could come through here. And then we fought back over here. We had this guy smacking that, did a wound. I don't know if we mentioned this. Something happened over here with them. They're okay. Morale. We're on to morale. So, no morale for him. He just watched all of his men die around him. But um, yeah, he's just covered in blood. He's just covered in blood and gore. I think the only morale we need to take is the noise marines over here. How much do you lose? Six. Six. This could stay. Well, that's his number. So, okay. And you roll a four. Lose another Plus two. six is ten. Do you fight back with those? Sadly, not. Ah. And the noise marines have been cleared away. Interesting. So the Black Legion have pushed back their flank on this side and now control the totem in the Temple of Terror. And now we're going to go on to either Death Guard or Alpha Legion's turn. So we need to roll off. Do you want to roll off, sir? See what you get? You got a three. I get a three. You get a four. I get a three. I am going last. No, you're not. I'm going last. You're going to choose to go last? I'm going to choose to go last. Because of those bikes zipping up onto that thing and getting you a point. A little bit tactical, yes. Mm, okay. Yes. Let's go into Death Guard, turn one. All right, Death Guard movement phase. All very simple. These guys are fighting each other, and uh, he's got a four up and vulnerable save, so I'm hoping they're not going to break free. Poxwalkers there are engaged with this fight, and there's nine cultists. So I think these Poxwalkers will be able to do enough to kill all of them. And that means my Poxwalker blob goes up to about 40. So I'm really liking the idea of a big Poxwalker blob. Because if I swarm the middle with lots of Poxwalkers, I could win this game. Um, so the other guy is coming this way. And there's 40 Poxwalkers. Uh, not Poxwalkers, cultists. There's 40 cultists. <laughs> Soon to be Poxwalkers. <laughs> There'll be a big blob of 60 Poxwalkers if I get in there. So the Terminator's up the gut. The Terminator's that were here up the gut as well, coming through the building. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm at this stage optimistic. It is only turn one. Typhus and the Demon Prince fighting back to back. I like it. Uh, let's go on to the psychic phase. I like it. I like it. Do you like it? Yeah. No? Do no. you like it? I don't like Let's it. do some smite. Let's do some psychic. So I've got Miasma of Pestilence. Minus one to hit, which I'm going to throw out on them. Uh, and it's a warp charge value of six. That's a five. That fails. Excellent. Uh, and then I'm going to put putre Putrescent Vitality on them. So at the moment they're strength four, toughness four. This will give them the strength five, toughness five. So when I hit them, that will be... My well, sorcerer? Uh, he's definitely within 24. Mm -hmm. Let's do putrescent vitality. Uh, that's a 12. It's not a double, so no terrors of the warp. You need a 12 to deny it, sir. I like it. I've got. Would you like to? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, An 11 on 2d6. Yeah, 11 on 2d6. You can do it. Oh, it's 12 versus 12 is not greater than. So it goes off. Strength 5, toughness 5, poxwalkers. And now Typhus, because he can do three powers, because of the Psychic Maelstrom, is going to smite some cultists. Uh, and that's a smite. And it does D3 mortal wounds and some cultists. And it does two wounds and some cultists. And now this guy. Uh, Gift of Contagion, warp charge value of seven. On them. And that's an eight. So that passes. And you roll a D3 and figure out what it is. And that's a five, which is liquefying egg. A minus one toughness to the cultists, so we've got toughness to cultists about to get smacked by some strength five poxwalkers. That's brutal. And he can do two psychic powers. Do I want to smite? I'm worried about terrors of the warp, so no, I will not smite. That's the end of my psychic phase. Right, now we need to shoot some guns. Okay, so it's not that simple. I don't really know what to fire at. These two are 
yeah, putting me off. Um, I could shoot with a rhino, blow it up, and then it might hurt those guys and the charge in there. I'm worried about the bike zipping through. Um, there is still 40 cultists there. Do I put some small arms into them first? Don't know. Uh, hmm. I think, basically, I'm going to split fire all over the place. Um, let's put some plasma, the plasma shots into the warp talons, the small arms into the blob of cultists to um, soften them up a bit and the blight launcher into them, into those up there. And when the smoke clears the terminators manage to kill a warp talon, none of the noise marines and kill a bunch of cultists. Is there any toughness too? Hilarious. No. So <laughs> let's fire the other unit of terminators that are through the gap into, hmm, into the talons. Okay. <laughs> So the unit terminators managed to kill off, kill off that last warp talon. Now the plague marines are going to fire at these guys, exchanging gunfire across the battlements. You shot at me, I'm going to shoot at you. So there's two blight launchers coming in, hitting on threes. Uh, and I'm not within six inches of that demon all the way down there. So only two hits. I'm wounding on threes, but it is a plague weapon. <laughs> Minus two AP, but plus one because you're in a room, so you're on four. four. Yep. Which you make, and then the bolt guns. And they all hit. And three of them wound, uh, two up saves. And you fell one. And when one noisy dude died, he fired back at the Terminators, doing no damage. And that's the end of my shooting phase and psychic phase. So now we're going to do some charges. Uh, let's charge the Terminators into the Rhino. It's got a combi bolter, but let's see if I can make it. Uh, six. I need to be an inch away. I think I'm in. They do make it into the Rhino, no damage caused on Overwatch, and now the Poxwalkers versus the Toughness 2 Cultists, however there's a few Flamers in there, so I need to survive the Overwatch first. A lot of firepower came in, 7 Poxwalkers died in total, I need to make a 6 inch charge, I just Oof. make a 6 inch charge. This is where we end up after the parlin phase, now keeping a little tail there, because that's within 7 inch range Score. of... Tigers. Scum! It's the rules. It might not be narrative, but that's how the rules work. Uh, so I've still got my plus one strength. Mind you, I don't need to do that. Because I'm strength five, you're toughness two, right? Yeah. And if I'm strength four, toughness two, I don't need to do that. Oh, well, now the narrative's important. <laughs> so because it's narratively important to make sure that all the poxwalkers are in the thing, they're all in the thing now, and they're all a fight in... Fighting the cultists. <laughs> right, um, a lot of attacks. I'm hitting on fours. And no re-rolls. I got 14 hits in. Only 14. Winning on twos. Uh, wow. There's four ones. So that's 10 wounds. And six up saves. And you make two. Two of them. So I add eight poxwalkers to my poxwalker pile. Thank you. And it looks like this. The poxwalker. The zombie horde blob continues. Then the terminator's piled into the rhino. This is what it looks like after the pile-in phase. I've got four axes there. These two at the back aren't fighting. Four axes are hitting on threes. Um, and that's not bad. That's seven hits. I'm strength five with axes. You're toughness seven. So I'm wounding on fives. And I'm re-rolling ones because it's a plague weapon. Uh, so two wounds on your rhino. With, so it makes two five-up saves. And then I'm going to hit you with my mace. Nope. Nope. And then the mace has D3 attacks each time, so ooh, that's not bad. That's four, uh, six attacks in total. Hitting on threes, everything hits. Strength six, winning on fives. Three wounds at minus two, two damage each. So three five up saves. Oh. And you fail all of them as well. So that's two damage each, so that's eight damage in total on your rhino, I believe. You still got any more to go? No, that's Damn it. it. No, because you wanted it dead and blown up and the guy's out and then they could have struck back. So that's the end of the charging units. Uh, now it's my turn, because you can pick in a minute, but it's my turn, so I'm going to pick this unit to pile in and hit those cultists. After that bundle, there's uh, one cultist left. So I don't know how many poxwalkers I've got here. I've got a lot. Right, the active player, I believe, picks who then fights next. Yeah, so it says uh, the active player chooses the order for which the players get to fight first. So there's this over here, or there's the, mm, I don't know. 
one, two, three, it's Chewy. We're gonna go right. So uh, the claws fighting next, and then and then Chewy. Yeah. So the claw smacking against this thing here, and uh, they all hit because they hit on twos because it's an apostle. I think you need fives though. And one the wound at minus one. Yeah, which you fail takes a wound. Hero. Uh, and then the you get to pick a unit and fight with next. Well, I'm going to go with the Lord of Thieves. Are you? Okay, right. Because I've got nothing else in combat. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, one, two, three, six, and that's your tendrils. Okay. Because Demon Forge is still in play. Good job, too. Is it in play or is it for the phase? Should we double phase. check? I would have thought it was the phase. Until the end of the phase. It's so it's, nah, that means that phase, that's, fight that phase, phase is That phase in that turn. Okay. So it's just them hits. I keep matters. Yeah. <laughs> uh, winning on threes. Um, two wounds. Do you have an invulnerable save on your apostle? I do. Okay. Not that though. Not that. And he takes two, it's damage. two damage each. How many wounds does he have? He's dead. There he is four. Is he dead? He's dead, Dave. He's dead, Dave. Everybody's dead, Dave. The Demon Forge consolidated forward. Now we've got all the cultists piling in to the Poxwalkers and swinging away. So this many twice? Yep. And they hit on sixes? Nope. <laughs> that was nine hits plus this pile here. Fourteen hits. Strength two. Toughness four. So sixes to wound. Five, mate. Uh, four because I, oh, I yes. made sure the narrative thing and then they're all charging in. <laughs> To fight the cultists, so didn't leave the tail to Typhus. So, <laughs> yeah, sixes. And just two. Uh, two follow up to new resilience, and one dies. All those cultists kill one. And I think that is the end of everything fighting, except for the rhino in the middle, which didn't do anything. And then we had this lone cultist guy attacking the poxwalkers. Uh, he didn't do anything either, and then morale happens, and he runs away. And uh, But we've also got the morale with this blob here. So how many have you got over there? How many did you lose in total? 17. 17. And a D6 is 19. What's their leadership? So leadership 6. So 17 minus 6 is 11. 11 more cultists run away. Which is fine. And after the morale phase, it looks like this. These cultists, which started off with 40 of them, are definitely outnumbered by the Poxwalkers there now. That's the end of Death Guard turn one. It is still only turn one. Uh, <laughs> it's, the, dark uh, out, sir. it's the Alpha Legion turn one next. Currently, I'm controlling the totem in the middle, so at the end of this turn, I'm going to get a point, but I think I'm going about, about to be outnumbered very soon. And here we are after the Alpha Legion movement phase, the bike's busting through the middle. Now, interestingly, in the shooting phase, you can't pick in a unit that's within an inch of an enemy model. Um, so these guys can't shoot each other, for example. But the Alpha Legion, even though these two units are in combat, can quite happily fire in at the Terminators or yep. the Chaos Rhino if they want to. Because as far as they're concerned, their enemy and their enemy, so both of them are... Oh, oh, it's a target-rich environment. Um... The troops have jumped out of there, along with the Warlord, Rhino reversing up, yeah. Dreadnought coming up, Tactical Troop Marines coming up. So there's a shift this way into the Temple of Terror. The only thing shifting away from the Temple of Terror is this unit of cultists, which have fallen back out of combat. And the Claw has spent a command point because... What is it? What are they well, doing? Well, the Alpha Legion are doing what we do best. We yes. are running away and getting some more cultists. And we're going to do a Tide of Traitors for two command points. Two command points. So, so long as they're not in combat, no. they disappear off. And the cultists run off into the deep blue yonder. They are gone. And a Tide of Traitors comes in all the way over on this side of the battle grid. Why are they coming in over here? Well, basically... It's to keep Chewie from getting into the middle. Uh, he's okay. got to do something about him. So turning around and doing something about him. Hopefully. Yes, yes. Because really. if he doesn't, I'm just going to run forward and tie him up. Okay. Uh, plus, I don't want to give you any more poxwalkers. You could have brought some in here. I could have done, but that would have given you even more. <laughs> okay, let's go on to Alpha Legion's psychic phase. So, Alpharius casting prescience on the bikes. And that is a five, so okay. that fails. What are you doing with the other one? Also, uh, I'm in diabolical strength on the bikes. On the bikes as well, okay. Yes, it's one more diabolical strength. 
Is it? Yeah. Mmm. I've got that wrong in previous battle reports and the internet flamed me. <laughs> <laughs> Diabolic strength on the champion then. Yep. Thank you, Paul. And that's an 11 because it's plus 2. Uh, I'm going to try them out. Okay. May as well. Sure. That's not an 11. That's not an 11. And he can do one more spell because he's. Because you can do an extra one. I'm so going to measure smite. It smite. It might hit the terminators. We'll measure up. Let's see if he can do it mm -hmm. first. So smite away. Uh, yeah. And that's an 8, 9, 10. That's a 10, right? Mm -hmm. The Pox Walkers were closest, and uh, one died after disgustingly resilient. Right, shooting phase. Predator versus Predator. Nice. Threes to hit. Both okay. hit. That's good. You can roll them again if you want. SM Battle Report logos are friendly. Uh, threes to wound? They both wound. See, good dice. Yeah. Sixes. You need a six up save. Minus oh, three. Well, that's his number. Oh, did you see that? And that's a both fail. This is 2d6 damage on that predator. This could sting. Ooh. 12. Ooh. This stings. Boom. That Ooh. is a critical. Exactly. That's a critical shot. Hits the fuel tank. Does it blow up? <laughs> it's gone. Paul. <laughs> Paul, come back to us, Paul. Paul. Yes, Boom! It, blow it blows up. That is a I'm six. not really surprised. And I think the dreadnought next door is going to take a wound. Uh, claw. The claw. Let's see if you win the dreadnought. Two wounds on the dreadnought. That was. It is within six, right? Just yeah. <laughs> Just. So that was an epic shot. Who needs a trial as brother? Then the hell root fired in at the poxwalkers, only killing one. The next thing left to fire is this a tactical squad? Mm -hmm. Just a tactical squad firing in at the terminators in close combat with that rhino. With a plasma. With a plasma. Okay, roll in the hit. Plasma missed. Strength 4, toughness 5. Uh, that's still pretty good. That's 3 wounds. Uh, 3 2 up saves. And disgustingly resilient. No. Yay. You find a weak chink in the armour and injure one. And so the Havocs firing across the rooftops at the Plague Marines here. They're hitting on 3s. They all hit. Strength 5, toughness 5, winning on 4s. And 2 wounds. Uh, minus one AP because it's a heavy bolter, plus one for the terrain, three up saves, and five up disgustingly resilient. And they managed to take it. No plague marines die. Now the bike's firing everything at the uh, Blight Lord Terminators. Um, you've got 15 shots with the bolt guns. Five get through, five two up saves. <sighs> I rolled two ones. One's already injured, five up disgustingly resilient. No, so one of the Terminators dies. One takes a wound. Then he said he was overcharging the plasma gun. Yeah. So you got two shots. You're definitely in rapid fire range. Why wouldn't you? Threes to hit. Oh, yeah. Threes to hit. One hit. Lucky. Strength eight. Toughness. Not that. Because it would have been threes to wound. Strength eight. Toughness five. This is what it looks like. One of the Terminators has fallen. Then the squad behind the tactical marines fired in and did no damage. And then we had a hail of fire coming in from these cultists. This tide of traitors into the back of that predator there, which had three wounds left, but uh, I think a spark went up from all the oil that's leaking out of it. Now it has one wound left, so it's bathed in oil and on fire, bits hanging off of it. That's the end of Alpha Legion shusting phase. We're now onto a charge phase. So what is charging where? Decisions, decisions. Okay, the bikes are gonna charge the rider and the terminator. And I can't overwatch because I'm currently in close combat. Uh, I cannot select a target because I'm within an inch of an enemy model. So the bikes get a free ride in. Anything else? At this stage, no. No. Cultist not going for Predator? Cultist on the Predator, if nine charge, inch charge. If I charged in on the Predator, he's going to bring me to everything. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. The, the voices have got to... The voices. The voices have got to... Don't listen to the voices. There's far too many in this room. Uh, okay, let's do the nine inch charge of the Cultist on the Predator. Let's see if you get in there. And they get in there, they're 12. They might be able to uh, pull off that last plate and blow it up. And they're closer to the center. And then we'll move the bikes. Oh yeah, you can get to watch with the last cannons. Oh, that's uh, when the two cannon. hits with the last cannons. I think two might go pop. Yeah, two have gone pop on the way in. <laughs> that only leaves you 38 left. Oh, dear. Let's move these charging models. Cultists make it in. The bikes make it in. Four going against these Terminators. Two including the champion against the Rhino. Rhino's on two wounds left. Uh, these are the four bikes with chainsaws going in at the Terminators. Okay, so threes to hit. 
And that's not bad, that's five hits. And five is to wound, now strength four, toughness five. And you get three wounds, I like it. Three two up saves. I make them all. Terminator. Okay, and then uh, two more guys with chainsaws into the rhino on two wounds left. So that's four attacks hitting on threes, winning on fives. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, two. Uh, three hits, fives to wound, strength four, toughness seven. Two wounds, Paul. Two wounds left on that rhino. Two three up saves. And yep. you make them both. Now the powerfish. You've got diabolic strength on him. So as a champion, he gets plus one attack with diabolic strength and plus two strength. So he's up to three attacks in total. But he is a power fist, so you are hitting on fours. And two hits. This gets him up to strength ten. Toughness seven. Well, because it's plus two, that is right. double for okay. first. Still threes to wound. One wound. Minus three AP, you so need a six. six. And you get a three. This will do D3 damage, two wounds left. Can he break? Yeah. Yes, you can. The rhino's dead and it blows up on a six. Mm -hmm. No, the rhino doesn't blow up. How many guys inside there? Seven. Seven guys inside. Now, as they come stumbling out of the wreckage of a wrecked vehicle, you roll dice and any ones, they get removed as casualties. And you just roll one, two ones. Two ones. To get uh, chopped down and this is what it looks like when we're done the emperor's children warlord is out the back and in the words of chewy what a massive organ he has uh and they're a troops choice yep next to the totem and this is the end well almost the end we're going to do this fight over here but as they're a troops choice they'll automatically score that totem why have you done that Spiked. Basically spiked. spiked. But uh, for real reasons is that Paul is unlikely to score many more points after this turn. He has taken a pace in. But yep. you might score a lot because you've got an awful lot of pox walkers. <laughs> and you've not took much damage. So to deny you that point, that's ah, my idea. I see. So there's tactics going on there. I like it. Right, let's go across to this mess over here and see if these cultists can scratch that last wound off that predator. And the court has had 36 attacks in on that predator. Worth mentioning that the characters, the Dark Apostle and the Champion or something, piled into that combat, made a heroic intervention at the end of the charge phase. Anyway, out of those 36 attacks, hit on fours, winning on sixes, you got one wound. One wound. One wound. It's only got one wound left, though. Can the predator make a three oh, up blow. save? Yes, it yes, can. Yes, it can. <laughs> then five died when the characters swung back. That's seven dead in total because of morale, it's a thing. And I just remembered, my Terminators get to strike two, so let's pile in. And so we pile in, there is uh, four axes there, it's eight attacks, hitting on threes. And that wasn't very good. Four hits. Um, I am strength five with axes, your toughness five. So fours to wound, re-rolling ones. Just two wounds at minus two AP. And one takes a wound, and then the sword swings in, and the sword hits twice, but this is strength four. Um, so only one wound, but that's minus three AP. So you need a six, no. So one bike dies so far, and then the Mace of Contagion, or Flail of Corruption, or whatever it's called, uh, that swings in D3 attacks each. So that's gonna be five attacks. I hit on threes, three hits, and it's strength six, so it wounds on threes, and it does do two damage each. So two at minus two, sir, with the Mace. So two five up saves. And you make one fail one, that would do two damage, killing another bike. So two bikes die. And it looks like this one we're done, and I think that's the end of everything. That's the end of turn one, finally. Morale test on the cultists. So leadership six plus... Seven. Seven plus three is ten. They're leadership six, so they're going to lose four more. But uh, they're still they've held up those two characters and that predator. And that, finally... <laughs> is the end of turn one and it is a point for the Emperor's Children. And so at the end of turn one, the Emperor's Children, though they have got the point, though they have uh, earned the favour of the Chaos Gods, have taken a pound in and the Black Legion have too. And interestingly enough, they were the two armies that went first. But let's face it, they picked on each other quite a lot. Um, and as we go into turn two, um, they may not be the armies that go first because we're going to roll up randomly one more time. Right, let's roll off to see who goes first. I get a 
Who's the six? Me. Black Legion. I'm going first in turn well, two. Well, you're choosing who goes oh, first. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can uh, pick another me. one. Me. <laughs> <laughs> right, Meteoric Strike, or rather the ground coming up and nom nom nomming some stuff. Interestingly, there's uh, three three dice on my models. Three dice on the Death Guard here. You uh, the, yeah, I, yeah. You, so you, you, you're going first. So yes. you roll a dice, see where this ends up. One. Where's the one? Because there's the two, there's the four. Uh. Yeah, okay, so every enemy unit within a certain range takes D3 mortal wounds. Right, this is going to be painful because it hits the Terminators, it hits the bikes, it hits the... Um, pig noise guys, marine, noise marines. and your general. Everything within six inches takes D3 mortal wounds. Chewie's going, so Chewie's roll. What you want to roll for first? Oh, okay, your terminators. Okay, go on then. D3 mortal wounds. One, disgustingly resilient. No, you kill a terminator. Okay, next up. Oops. Right, fix that malfunction. Next on the bikes, D3 wounds on the bikes. Two. Two, two mortal wounds on the bikes. That'll be a dead bike. Where do you want to go to next, Chewie? I'm going to go for the, MP, the pink guys. Pink guys? Yeah. D3 more wounds of the pink guys. Only one, one. Just one. And now on, say hi, Paul's Warlord? Yeah. Two. Two. Two on the Warlord. Here we are at the end of the movement phase for the Black Legion after the ground opened up and swallowed a few dudes. Uh, the Predator are breaking out of combat, but the two champions there staying in with the cultists, and then we have Morlefiend's moving forward, Demon Prince moving forward. Now he doesn't mind really charging his Morlefiend into that unit of Poxwalkers, because let's face it, I'm probably not going to bring down a Morlefiend. And with its special rule, it's recovered a wound at the start of the turn. And if he swallows up that unit of 36, I think it is, Poxwalkers, then at least I'm not flooding the objective in the middle. So it's quite tactical. Uh, the other unit of cultists there staying in the ruins, in cover. Uh, he doesn't fancy his chances um, against um, Terminators, Terminators and the Chaos Lord and some bikers and the pink dudes. <laughs> the pink dudes. I hate you all. <laughs> so now we go on to the psychic phase. Demon Prince casting warp time. Um, that's a ten, which becomes a twelve. Does anyone want to try and deny that? Well, yeah, but uh. <laughs> I'll try and deny it. I've got a Demon Prince there. I don't deny it. You got warp time, so he moves again, right? I can move him. Ah. Oh. And the Morlefiend uh, fancies his chances against the pink dudes and their warlord. Uh, what's his next psychic power? Casting two this uh, game? Weaver of Fate. Weaver of Fate's getting his invulnerable save up. Uh, you get a four plus two is six. Is it a warp charge a six? of six? Yes, it is. I could deny it again with Typhus. Let's do that. I don't deny it with Typhus. Right, in the shooting phase, pistol from... The champion killed a cultist. Now we have this tri last Predator. You're choosing to fire at that unit of Terminators over there that are locked up with those bikes. Because you can. Because yes. they're both enemy units. Uh, threes to hit. And th this time, everything hit. Right, okay. Strength, nine. Toughness, five. Threes to wound. And you get two wounds. Two four-up Cataphracty saves. And I make them both. Nice. We are disgusting and resilient. And then the last thing left to fire was this unit of cultists fired in at the pink dudes, the Empress children in the middle, killing one. And when he died, he turned around and shot a cultist and missed. And that is the end of the shooting phase. Not a lot of gun in Chewie's army, but we've got some charges coming up here. So the Morlefiends made it into the Poxwalkers. Demon Prince needs a nine to get into the Poxwalkers. And that isn't happening. Now, where is this? Is that command point? Really? Yes. What? The Demon Prince has made it into the Poxwalkers. Interesting. And uh, where is this Morlefiend going, sir? Uh, he's going to try and double charge the troop and the warlord. Is he? Yes. Okay, going in for the Emperor's children. He is in. We'll do the overwatch. All right, starting off the fight phase, the Morlefiend is trying to take out the Emperor's children warlord in the middle of a Temple of Terror. Lash of Tendrils going into the elite choices. And the noise the, Marines. Noise Marines. And the fists, the fists are going to, he's going to fist the warlord. With the fists. So what are we fighting with first? Lash of Tendrils first. Lash of Tendrils first. And you spent a command point yeah. again on Demon Forge yeah. for re-rolls to hit and re-rolls to wound. And with the re-rolls, only getting three hits in on the number of things. He's a wound on threes, re-rolling. Don't wound. One. Only one. And it's minus two with a five up save. And you make and it. The Lash of Tendrils don't kill any of the... Uh, but can he fist the warlord to death? That's the question. 
Probably more like all four hit. Twos. And all four wound without the rerolls. Now he has got a sigil of corruption to do with four up and vulnerable saves. And you fail one. And he has three wounds left, which would kill him because it does a flat three damage. Unless you spend a command point. Oh yeah, that's a thing. That's, that's a thing. thing. That's a thing. <laughs> so 50-50 chance of keeping your warlord alive. Command point spent. And that's a four. Nice. The Morlafine doesn't kill any. The Empress children hold firm, infused by the power of the Temple of Terror. Then the Emperor's children pile in and fight back. Who's this? The this Lord? Is the this is the fist. fist. Yeah. Two hits. And two wounds. Two wounds. Two far up and vulnerable saves on your Morley doggy dude. Uh, you make one fail, one D3 damage. Whoa. One damage. Just one damage. Oh. And then the other guy strikes and then the captain strikes. Yep. One, one regular save. One three up. Yep. You make that. And your chaplain, captain. I've got to check stuff for this. Okay. Okay, so we've got the intoxicating elixir relic, which gives me plus one attack and plus one strength. Right. And his warlord trait yes. means that for every wound he's lost, he gains an extra attack. Okay. So I've got seven attacks. Nice. Hitting on twos, rerolling ones. Uh, and it looks like they all hit anyway. Sevens. Strength is five. Toughness of the maul of these seven. is seven. Okay, so five to wound. Five to wound. And wow. One, he two, gets three. three. Wounds. Uh, minus three. So three invulnerable saves. And you make one mm. fail one, make two fail one. So, strangely enough, the Morlafine doesn't damage that Emperor's Children squad at all, but takes two wounds himself. Maybe he should not have come to this place. Right, back to charging units. We've got Morlafine and Demon Prince into a bunch of Poxwalkers. The Demon Prince and the Demon Engine killed seven of the Poxwalkers. Then over here, the Apostle killed a couple of cultists. Then the cultist piled in. Now we've got lots of attacks going in lots of different directions. But 15 attacks coming in on this champion here. Hitting on fours. Strength three, toughness four. Winning on fives. Ouch. That's two. Just two wounds. Uh, two three up saves, sir. And Trace he a takes wound. a wound. One left, is that? Oh. Yeah. Seven into the Chaos Vicar. Uh, <laughs> fours to hit. And... That's only four hit. Four hits is good. Five. Four. Four. Five. Four. Five's to wound. Uh, one wound on the vicar. Vicar is fine. And how many on the predator? Thirteen. Right? Thirteen, Thirteen on the pred. Now this predator's on one wound left. If it blows up and the assault champion that stood next to it is on one wound left, this this could hurt. So forced to hit the rhino, which is steaming and injured. Seven hits, just need one six here. And you get Whoa. three sixes. Three sixes on the Predator. Goes. Ooh. Oh. Pre predator goes pop, failing all of the saves. Um, will it blow up on a six? That's the thing. That was off the table. No, no it doesn't. Oh. It just got <laughs> Then it looks like this. Uh, four cultists died when the champion struck back into the cultist blob, but they're hanging in there. The champion in the apothecary, apothecary, the vicar versus all those cultists. That's my turn. I'm not going to select a unit here. I think I'm going to select my terminators and smack those bikes. We pile in. The axes hit on threes, uh, three hits, and wound on fours. Rerolling ones because it's a plague weapon. Two wounds at minus two, sir. Uh, one of the bikes takes a wound. The sword strikes once. Wounds on a five. Doesn't wound, and the mace, number of attacks, that is three plus, that's five attacks in total. It hits on threes, and they all hit. It's strength six, wounding on threes. They all wound at minus two, and each one does two damage on the remaining Oof. bikes. Five wounds left on those bikes. So one dies, two dies, three dies. Oh, one's alive, and they're dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. Everybody's dead. Then after clearing away those bikers, the Blight Lord Terminators consolidate three inches towards the closest enemy model, back towards the totem. Over here, the Poxwalkers swing back after piling in. I did one wound on a demon, and I was very pleased. And I think that was the end of turn one, part one. Uh, a couple of cultists fled in the morale phase. But the Predator's down, 
Um, these two units are engaged in close combat. The Morlafine and the Middle is engaged in close combat. The only thing of the Black Legion no longer engaged in combat is the Trilance Predator and this unit of cultists here. And that's Chewie's turn two done. We've done them around. Um, we now need to roll off to see who gets their turn to or who chooses. So let's roll some dice, people. I rolled a five. Sure. Who got the six? Me. So, Paul, what's going on? Well, I think on reflection, with the Empress Children lightning flash, re flash reflexes, they just aren't going to have the um, the staying power to hold back and not just run forward for all that delicious pain. Right. So I'm going to go. You're going to go? Yeah. Okay, Empress Children, turn two. In the movement phase for the Empress Children, the Possessed come scrambling out of the Rhino into the Temple of Terror. The Rhino's moving from right to left, either to block or to charge. The Hellbrute moving up the table as well, and that's it. Precious little resources left for Say Hi Paul. Then in the Psychic phase, the Sorcerer had Prescience. Um, it, prescience didn't work, and then you did the Life of Agonies on who? On these oh, guys? No, these guys. On these guys, the shooter guys. And you rolled a double four. I so did. any doubles in there, so it passes. No one's in range to deny. So you get a Terrors of the Warp test. So you roll a d6 and we'll consult the table and see what happens. And you roll a what? Two. Two. That's not good. That's d3 mortal wounds. And he no. takes three mortal wounds. Uh, I think he leaves him with one. And as we can cast three powers, you're going to smite, right? <laughs> Why not? Okay. Uh, is that a double? Six! No! That smite works. Six I think eight. it hits my Terminators. I'd say so. Uh, eight. There's no one in range to deny. We already tried that. Um, I so. I don't want to. Thanks. <laughs> D3, <laughs> D3 mortal wounds. Oh, no. One disgustingly resilient. Uh, and a Terminator takes a wound. Now we're in the shooting phase. This dreadnought round here can see the Plague Marines through the window, hitting them up here. So what are we shooting with first? Uh, the. Twin Blastmaster. Twin Blastmaster. 2d3 shots. Uh, that's six shots. I like it. So this is going to hit on... He moved? He moved to fours. Fours, okay. It is a heavy gun. And uh, that's five hits. This is strength eight, right? Yep. Strength eight toughness five. Threes to wound. And that is three wounds, but it ignores cover and it's minus two. Yep. So I need fives. And I make one fail two. D3 damage each, I believe. Yep, first one. First one is one, one and the second one is three. three. So the first one, disgustingly resilient, dies, and the second one dies. Two plague marines get taken down. Then after the Hellbrook, these guys fired into combat against the Morlafine. Should notice that the warlord for the pink dudes has fallen back there. As Paul says that uh, he's mean, but he ain't stupid. Right, Sonic Blasters, what's happening? Top two floors are going against these Plague, Plague Marines. Marines and the bottom floor against the Terminators. Yeah. I like it. All right, what are we find first? Okay, then? so the Sonic Blasters from the top two floors of these Plague Marines. Okay, yeah. And so uh, threes. Three hits. Straight four, wounding on fives. One I wound. Ignoring cover. AP. Not, uh, not, not no. zero. Okay, three up save. Make it. Okay, there's also two Blastmasters from up there. Right. With a total of three shots. Only three shots. Hitting on threes. Three All three hits. I like Wounding it. Wounding on threes. Two, two wounds. Two wounds at minus two. Yep. Two five ups. I fail them both. D3 damage each time. Three uh, on three. the first one. And two on the second one. Okay, I've only got sergeants and blight launchers left here. So five ups. No. And then two five ups. No. Now to keep a sergeant alive or a blight launcher alive. Blight launcher. And it looks like this. Okay, next. Right, we've got four sight blasters and yes. one doom siren. So four sight blasters is 12 shots. Yes. Eight hits, strength four. And we get one wound. Three. One top save, which I fail. Which I make, sorry. What am I talking about? Doom siren hits doom. Four, four times. Four times, nice. These are auto hits at strength five? Yep, strength five minus two AP. Uh, no wounds whatsoever. Oh. 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 Um, but you killed a couple of plague marines. Then the source of fire is pistol and missed, and the combi bolter on this rhino killed um, Alpharius from the squad of tactical marines down here. Or maybe he wasn't Alpharius. Right now we're on to the charge phase. I think these possessed are going in. And the possessed charged the Mall of Fiend and the Blight Lord Terminators. This is where we're in after the parlay move. I didn't manage to kill any on Overwatch. 
Um, you're putting five into the Terminators and five into the Morlafine. That's the plan. So what ha what's happening here? Who, they get D3 that? attacks nice. each. Each. Mm, three. So that's three attacks each. I've spent command points on veterans of the long war, so they're going to be a plus one to wound. Are they? Yep. Nice. And um, I have no idea what possessed do, even though they're in the Death Guard book. So who is striking first? Well, it, they're all... all ten. I'm going to do fi the five against the Morlafine first, and then the five against the yep. Terminators. Yep, yep, yep. And they're swinging away, and they're hitting on threes. Hitting on threes, rerolling ones, because of the Lord. So it's 13 hits with the rerolls. Now, these are strength five, toughness seven. So we'll be winning fives, but winning fours with veterans of the long war. And I don't know what the AP is or anything. Minus two. Minus two AP, how much damage? One. So that's seven wounds there. This smaller fiend has nine left. Touch to die. Touch to die. So it's five ups. And you make... Only one five up. That Morlafine takes six damage and he's down to three wounds left, which will affect the number of attacks coming back. Then we have 15 attacks on the Blight Lord Terminators. Hitting on threes. And then re rolling ones. Ten hits this time, but strength five, toughness five. Wounding on threes with the veterans. And it's minus two, you say? Yep. So I count six. Yep. I see dead people. Uh, at minus two, so two ups become four ups? Four ups. Uh, I fail two. Oh. Two disgustingly resilient. I make one of them. But one was on a wound, so you kill a Terminator. Then after the charging models, these last two noise marines here get to strike. And the power fist swinging away, hitting on fours because it's a fist. Rerolling ones. Two hits. Strength eight, toughness seven, threes to wound. And they both wound two five up and vulnerable saves on that Morlafine with three wounds left. They fell them both. 2d3. Dead oh, Morlafine. Does it blow up? Hope so. It uh, does not blow up. You take out the Morlafine. And with the Morlafine down, Paul's choosing to consolidate his two troops into the Terminators because um, if they were sat out there on the open, they're a troops choice right next to the totem. And they're going to get shot. We won't last long against those Star Destroyers. We'll last longer than we will against that Death Star. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you're the active player, so you get to pick who fights next. What's going on here? Well, I couldn't decide, and I said, does anyone want to go next? Anyone want to bribe me? Yes. And I've been given points. And I wanted to go next. You wanted to go next. <laughs> yes. And you've bribed Paul. So this has cost him one, so that goes in the bag, but I get an extra point. That's nice. Woo! You get to strike next. Yes. And uh, uh, where are we striking? I am striking, because he's only on one wound, I want to give as much as I can before I die uh, the Exalted Champion against the Cultists. I like it. It's very sneaky. Very Alpha Legion of you. So. One minute. You're not Alpha Legion, you're Alpharius. <laughs> What's going on here? I just embrace everyone. Oh yeah, you're Black undivided. Legion. Yeah, yeah, undivided, yeah, okay. So the Black Legion champion is swinging away at these cultists here, and uh, he gets on two. And he re-rolls. And he wounds on threes. And he re-rolls as well, and this is just pick him up. Ooh, ooh. And he managed to take out three cultists, but will that be enough before the wave smashes into him? Right, so a couple of cultists dies, and then what happened, Paul? I forgot to charge my rhino. I forgot to charge your rhino, and um, we're all being very generous and friendly, and letting the person who's cares. winning <laughs> to charge with his rhino. Thank you very much, there. sir. No. Let's do the overwatch. You've got a melter in that squad, right? No. Oh. It's a burner. Okay. Flame that. Oh, yeah. Not at all. And then we did the overwatch, no damage. Then we did the fight, no damage. And the player whose turn it is chooses the order in which they fight. So I've been chosen to fight next. Hmm. Hmm. So pick the Terminator unit. They have piled in. Um, two of them, the mace and this guy is going to go against the troops. The other two against the possessed. So let's do the mace into the troops because they're troops. This is the number of attacks they get. D3 each. So that's four attacks hitting on threes. Three hits. Wounding on threes. Um, three wounds on your troops at minus two AP. Sir, three five up saves. That's a lot of dice. Too many fell up, Jan. <laughs> and uh, two die. Uh, so that's the two troops gone. And then let's put the sword oh, and... We both get to fight back. Oh, yeah. Now. Okay. Uh, so three attacks of power fists. Yeah. Three rolling ones. Yeah. Just the one. Okay, winning on a three. That's a wound. Four up cataract, you say? 
No, D3 damage. One. One damage. Disgustingly resilient. Um, not resilient. I take mm. a wound. The next guy. Three hits. No wounds. No. So the two troops die. One of the Terminators takes a wound, and then the two remaining guys hack at the possessed. I have an axe. Uh, which hits once and wounds on a three, which wounds and a sword, which hits twice and wounds on fours, and it's a plague weapon and wounds once. So one, three ups, minus three, one minus two. And both saves the five up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you make them both. Right. The possessed walk through that barrage of attacks. Then coming from the fight in the centre back to the cultists again. We've done the attacks from the vicar into the, the cultists into the vicar, he's fine. Now you're just trying to take out that champion on one wound left. So yeah. this number of attacks hitting on fours. Seven hits, fives to wound now. And you get two. Two saves on your champion. Yes! Oh, he's alive. Then the Poxwalkers struck the Demon Prince and the Morlefiend scratching a couple of wounds off the Morlefiend, not hurting the Demon Prince. Over here, a Power Fist took a wound off that Rhino. And then background in the cultist fight, a couple more cultists died to the Dark Apostle. And then we did the morale and a couple more cultists ran away. And that's the end of Black Legion turn two. Um, whose turn that was, was it? Children that turn was Emperor two. Children turn two. It's so confusing. Sometimes you forget the fight phase and everything. Um, but a Morlefiend has died. A Morlefiend has died. You're swarming all over the centre. Your troops in the centre have died, however. They didn't last very long. Uh, against not them. against the Star Destroyers. Not against the Star Destroyers, no. Um, so, yeah. The Empress children are still winning it. Um, it's just, I don't know which way it's going to go. There's still a lot of assets left on the table. Now, me and the Claw need to roll off to see who chooses to go next. I roll a one, you roll a six. Now, do you want this turn? So the Claw choosing to move his Alpha Legion next. And uh, the Tactical Squad, not Tactical Squad, the Warband, or whatever they're called in Legionaries. Chaos. Legionaries jump through the terrain piece there. They're broken out of combat along with Hiding the Sorcerer. In the Hiding in the shadows, where they like to be. Rhino moving forward, Dreadnought moving forward along with his Warlord. And that's pretty much it, except for the Cultists pulling out of combat one more time because you've got Tide of Traitors and you're doing it again. I've got enough points for it. Okay, let's bring him back on. <laughs> Right, so that unit of cultists have uh, fled the battlefield over there. And the unit of cultists that disappeared off this side of the battle really have brought some mates back on with them. Tide of Traitors, 40 more cultists spilling back on this side. Nasty, I like that one. All the command points spent though, unless someone bribes you. Now you've got a sorcerer in there. And we're going on to the psychic phase and you put impressions on the tank. Yep. Okay, let's roll up, see what we get. Not a double. That's a 10. To deny. I don't want to deny it. Does anyone else want to Remember deny that range. tank all the way back there? Mm -hmm. Well, the sorcerer's here. Hang on. Yeah, because I know what he's going to do with him. I know what he did last <laughs> turn. He's probably going to shoot your He's going to shoot my dreadnought. Yeah. And oh. that's a deny. That's eight. It's eight plus on two, it. ten. Oh, yeah. And you rolled a ten, so it's equal. It's not a deny. Yes. Okay. And you're smiting as well? Smiting as well? Smiting yes, away. Yes. It's going to hit the pox walkers, yeah. Uh, uh, that's a five, six, seven. It doesn't um, have line of sight to the Pox It's oh yeah, so it will hit the Terminators. Terminators, yeah, it's line of sight and range. Or I will try and deny. Possibly the possessed. Um, I don't deny. No, the sorcerer is over here, so it's definitely hitting the Terminators. D just yeah, D three mortal wounds on the Blight Lord. That's one, and I disgustingly resilient it. So no damage to the Blight Lord Terminators there. Now we're on to the shooting phase. The Melter from the Dreadnought is going into the Rhino. Frag Missile into the Poxwalkers. What are we doing first, sir? Do the Frag Missile. Okay, oh. number of shots. Four shots and you moved. It's a heavy, so you're hitting on fours. And unfortunately they're toughness five right now, so you're winning on fives. So three hits and two wounds. Two disgustingly resilience. And you kill a Poxwalker. You've yeah. got to start somewhere, I guess. And then the multi-motor hitting on a four onto that Rhino. Boom, it misses. Now the Predator, pressing start firing at the Rhino. Prescience is plus one a hit, right? Mm -hmm. So hitting on through, uh, twos. One hit. He was a super duper shot last turn. Not so much this turn, but he does wound. Six up save on the Rhino. 
which you fail, d6 damage, 5. It's still a pretty critical hit. That puts that rhino down to 4 wounds left, I reckon. Mm. Alpharius, number 1, shooting the rhino with his plasma. Are you overcharging? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, go. It hits. Strength 8, toughness 7. And it wounds. A 6 up save on the rhino, or it takes 2 more wounds. Which you fail, it's down to 2 left. Interesting stuff. Mm. This squad? This squad? Into the same? Into the rhino, trying to clear it away. You overcharging the plasma? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> so the champion dies as the plasma pistol goes boom, and then the rest of the tactical squad hose the side of oh dear, hose the side of the rhino and do no damage. Next thing left to fire, the havoc's fire down at the Blightlord Terminators. The shots just bouncing off their putrescent hides. Now we have a wave of firepower about to hit the Poxwalkers. Then 10 Poxwalkers got taken out by this barrage of firepower, just ripped apart. Now we're onto the charge phase. The Rhino did that. And then round here, the champion and the tactical squad got into the back of that Rhino. That's only on two wounds left. And those are the charging units. So let's go into the fight phase. Right, then in the fight phase, Emperor Children fight first. After the charging person selects a charging model, so the champion here is going to plunge the murder sword into the back of that rhino. He hits on twos, mm -hmm. and he re-rolls ones, because he's a champion. Now this is normal strength, or plus one strength, so everything hits, strength five, toughness seven. But it is minus four AP, so every five up will get through that rhino. And that's two fives up. So that rhino has two wounds left. It's minus four AP, so that's a dead rhino. And it doesn't go pop. So mission successful there from the champion. And then we're over here, I guess, to the possessed, which get to fight next. And there's still ten possessed left. You spent your, another command point? Veterans Long War. Veterans Long War reroll. Uh, sorry, plus one a wound. How many attacks do they get this time? Two, three. And they get three. three attacks again. This is 30 attacks coming in on my Blight Lord Terminators. Okay, hitting on threes and re-rolling once. With the re-rolls, that was 20 hits. And now winning on threes because of Veterans of the Long War. And each of these are AP minus two. I've got 14 saves to make. Four ups. And then disgustingly resilient. So I... Save that many. I've got six disgustingly resilience to make. And I only make one of them. That's five wounds. One had taken a wound. That's three Terminators dead. Then it looks like this in the center after the consolidation move. The Blight Lord Terminator is surrounded by Possessed. Then we went over here. Die still over there. And uh, a bunch of Poxwalkers died. And I did no wounds back to the uh, Mortal Fiend or the Demon Prince. And the Poxwalkers did no wounds back to the Rhino. Wanted to get this one on camera though. Mace of Contagion, Flare of Corruption, whatever it's called. Into the Possessed. Number of attacks. That's four attacks. I hit on threes. And I wound on threes. And that many at minus two. And they do two damage each. Possessed of two wounds, right? They do. So only fives and you lose dudes. And in the end, you only make one save. Losing three Possessed. But you still control the centre of the table. That's the end of the Alpha Legion turn. Now we have some morale. So the Possessed lost some. Lost three. And oh, they're, they're okay. Five. I think I lost four Terminators. And four plus four is eight. So I'm okay. I think they're leadership nine. I took the Sergeant away. So leadership eight. Anyway, they hold. Mind you, I better check. Damn it. Yep, they pass. Leadership eight, nine. Eight with the Mace guy left. And that's the end of Alpha Legion turn two. Still only turn two. Now we're back on to my turn two. At the end of the last turn, I'd lost a couple of dudes. Now you just wiped out about half of my army. This has changed an awful lot. But right now, Paul is going to go two points into the lead unless I do something about that. And seeing as you two are not ganging up on Paul and <laughs> stopping him getting some points, I guess I'm going to have to do it. Yes, yes. So let's go to Death Guard. Death Guard, turn two. <laughs> All right, the Death Guard move forward into the Temple of Terror. Now, here's the thing. If Luke gets to Luke, if say hi Paul gets two points, he's two points to zero. And if he gets a third point in a game which is five points long, five turns long, if you get three points, you've won. The only other victory condition is there's the last man standing and all the other armies die. 
So I have to stop you getting those points. So this unit of Terminators are making their way up. This one fell back. And we're going to charge in and try and kill you. However, there's a demon and a mauler fiend over here. And if I didn't deal with them, um, you're going to molest you. That's you. are going to do some molesting. Oh, yeah. So I have to molest you first. So Typhus <laughs> and the Demon Prince are coming for your Demon Prince. That's for really what? <laughs> and Slanish are definitely going to watch this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the Alpha Legion is just going to hang out in the shadows oh, yeah. and sneak a, sneak a victory at the end, I reckon. Um, so <laughs> that's what's going on. Um, let's go into the Psychic phase. Right, Typhus, Miasma of Pestilence. Miasma of Pestilence onto this unit of Terminators, which will be minus one to hit. And uh, that's a five. I'm going to really need to spend a command point because I need a six for it to get off. So let's spend a command point. So that's a six. Plus two is eight. Does anyone want to deny that? Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah. okay, man. You need a nine to deny me. And you get an 11. You've definitely denied me. Right, putrescent, putrescent vitality on the Terminators is a nine. Does anyone want to deny that? That's an 11 with the plus two. No, no, okay, so they're plus one strength, plus one toughness on those Terminators. And now Typhus is going to smite because you can do three powers a turn, and that's a smite. And you've already done your denial, so this will do D3 mortal wounds on your demon. How many has he got? He's got seven. Got seven, and he loses another two, he's down to five. Now he's going to do his gift of contagion ability and focus on your demon prince. Hang on. What? Uh, isn't there a thing where if you pass things, other things take mortal wounds? What? Oh, that's um, a pestilential fallout and it applies to malignant playcasters. And ah, right. As you were. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Gift of Contagion. Um, I need a seven. That fails. I've already spent a command point in the psychic phase. And now we're going to smite the Demon Prince. That passes. D3 more mortal wounds on the Demon Prince. For three more mortal wounds. How many is he on now? Two? Two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right then, let's shoot some guns. So Blight Lord Terminator versus Demon Prince hitting on threes. One hit. Wounding on a that will wound you. It's minus two AP. You need your five up, demon save, four up, because you've got a spell on him. And you rolled a one. one. This will do D3 damage, and he's got two wounds left. You'll command point that then. I will command point it. command point it? Nope. No, he's dead. And I'm keeping the six that I rolled. That's a dead <laughs> demon prince. Chewie is all out of command points, which leaves Tyvus and the other dude free to charge that. That's part one. That looks looking good. Now, the unit of Terminators. I want to fire everything at the possessed, but if I kill them all, then I can't charge them. So, if you kill them all, you'll own the centre because you have a model within three inches. And this is the last turn of the battle round. Yeah, let's let's shoot all the possessed. Thanks, Paul. Firing both parts of the combi weapons. Combi melter hitting on a four hits and wounds on a two doesn't wound. Uh, there's a combi plasma in that squad hitting on fours one hit wounding on a three that's a wound five up demon save. I didn't overcharge. No, takes no. A wound. Uh, the blight launcher hits twice wounds on threes. Wounds once, minus two, five up save. And you make that one. Now let's do all the uh, combi bolters. After rolling hit, rolling a wound, it gets seven wounds on the possessed. Seven, let's three up saves. And uh, one and a half die. Right, let's charge. Um, terminators into the possessed in the middle of the table. And that's an eight. They're going to make it in. Demon Prince into the Mauler Fiend. That's a six, he's going to make it in. Now Typhus really needs to back him up here or I could be in trouble. Typhus, seven. Hmm. And Typhus does not make it in. So, uh, Emperor's Children go first. Um, no. Unless there's another charging unit. Will so you... I have to select this unit yeah. to come swinging in. I will spend another... Com oh no, I'm up to strength five now. I was about to spend another command point on Veterans of the Long War. But with Putrescent Vitality, I'm strength five, top and six. Don't need to. So I've got three swords there. So let's swing away with the swords and I'm hitting on threes. And I'm now strength five. So I'm winning on threes and rerolling one. So there's a two. Uh, three saves of five up and one's already on a wound. No, you killed the one on a wound already. Uh, okay. You did three wounds from Baltic shots, which killed two guys earlier. Nice, I like it. And you fail all the saves. Thank you very much.
<laughs> damage so each. Just one damage each, bubotic swords. Here are the axes, hitting on threes, and they all hit. It's strength six right now. Uh, wounding on threes and re-rolling ones because it's a plague weapon. Uh, so that is five more saves at minus two, sir. So I think that's five up saves. Mm -hmm. And you make three of them, you fail two more. How much damage are these ones? One each. Three left to chew through, then the mace within an inch of an inch number of attacks. It's oh, beautiful. That's the full six attacks, hitting on threes. And I get five hits in. I am strength seven now, because it's plus one. So wounding on threes. Uh, four wounds at minus two, two damage each. So four, five up saves. Three of these guys. Mm. And you, fa you fail three. So the last three, four. And then we're on to your guys. In Your guys get to fight first, but no one's in combat. So then I go on to charging models. So it's going to be Demon Prince versus Morlefreen. My Demon Prince has four attacks. I gave him a pair of Malefic Talons. So he's got an extra three attacks. So this is seven attacks in total, and I hit on twos. And they all hit. Um, strength, I don't know. Strength user. Is it? Yeah. Strength six. So I'm wounding on fives. Your toughness, seven. Uh, yeah, strength six, toughness seven. And I do one wound at minus two, and it does two damage. And you fail it. Puts the Mauler Fiend down to Sorry. seven wounds left. That's the end of the charging units. Now I can select a unit, which will be the Poxwalkers. Poxwalkers couldn't scratch the Rhino, and the Rhino driver couldn't drive over one of the Poxwalkers. Uh, so Hypo's got no units in combat, so we're back to the Malefic thingy bob. Sorry, the Mauler Fiend versus Demon Prince. The force. Force to hit with his with his tentacles yes they all hit any strength user so what's that strength six sorry okay on toughness six six i want to say six we don't uh, have to check we don't have to check three wounds uh minus two. two minus two i have the suppurating plate so it's a two up save which becomes a four up and i fail them all because <laughs> any saves it would have done wounds back to you So, but I do have disgustingly resilient please make some of these winters I do make quite a lot of them I make three of them um, Demon start off with eight he's got five left and now you smack me with your fist please be gentle Fours. You know, that's not gentle that's all four hits strength times two yes Tough. Uh, I think you're winning on twos let's say twos two wounds and it's minus three. Yes. So I will use the suppurating plate, which gets my two up to a five up. And I pass one, fail one. Right, the one that I pass, the suppurating plate does a mortal wound back to you on a four up. You take a mortal wound. And that's three damage on me, right? Yes. Fists, three, five up, disgustingly resilient. And I say, I fail all of them. That leaves the demon on two wounds, the Mauler Fiend on six wounds, and I think that's all the morale, all the combats. There's no morale test to make, and we finally hit the end of turn two, finally. And um, I control the center of the board, the end of all things, have the totem in the Temple of Terror. So it's one point to the Death Guard, one point to the Emperor's children. Let's move on to turn three. Right, we don't know whose turn it is, so let's roll a dice, roll off, see who goes first. Um, I got a 2, 5 on the Alpha Legion, and a 1. So the Alpha Legion will be going first. We'll choose who has the first oh, yeah. turn. You choose who has the first turn. Interesting stuff. The Claw, over to you. Okay, Claw, what happened there? Well, I got bribed. You got bribed. Who bribed you? Uh, you did. I did. <laughs> I bribed you. Uh, I got one command point left. You've now got one command point left, and um, I am going first. And uh, one of the conditions was also not to attack you this turn. I need for I need this turn. I need to clear away some of this stuff to have a chance of winning. And you've got a chance of sweeping in in turn three. Well, it is turn three and four and five and, and winning as well. We just got to take out these two, these two leaders what over have I done here. To you? <laughs> you were, yeah, bad stuff. Right. And you, I've never wiped no. anything out of yours. Listen, what? It was, listen, it was fair. You're allowed to bribe, it's in the rules. <laughs> so we did some bribing. Now the ground's going to open up and eat some stuff. We put the four dice down. It's my turn, so I roll. 
and it's a three. Yes. And <laughs> it's this one over here, which everything within six inches does takes D three mortal wounds. So on your trilas predator, it takes two mortal wounds. On the mauler fiend, it takes one mortal wound. On the demon, which has got two wounds left. Someone else roll. You can roll for it. You put that dice there. Thank you. Yeah. Two mortal wounds. My demon's only got two wounds left. I need to make one of these disgustingly resilient to keep them alive. And I make one. <laughs> Praise be to Nurgle. So the demon prince is alive by the skin of his teeth and typhus my warlord. I need to clear away that big threat. I can't have a mauler fiend running through my back lines. The poxwalker's going this way because I want more poxwalkers. So kill 10 cultists, get 10 more poxwalkers. Circling the wagons with the big unit in the middle. He's going to charge the warlord of the emperor's children and take his head. Right. Psychic phase. i got one wound left on my demon. So doing some psychic stuff with him might be quite painful. But fun. But fun. Yeah, I guess. Um, let's do... The range of all psychic powers is doubled in this game. So I'm going to do Miasma of Pestilence on the Blight Lord Terminators, which will be minus one to hit them. I need a six. That's an eight, which becomes a ten. Would anyone like to deny me? Oh, I'm too far away from anyone. A demon prince can do it. That's my demon prince. That's not. It's not going to deny me. It's fine. It's Damn good. It. So minus one <laughs> to hit the it. terminators. Um, let's give the poxwalkers plus one strength and toughness. Uh, that's a pass. Um, I need a six, and that's a seven. So they're up to strength four, toughness four. Now let's smite this mortal fiend. And that's a pass. D three mortal wounds on the mortal fiend for three. The big three on the mortal, mortal fiend. How many's got left? Two. Two. So I could smite with my Demon Prince. Do it. Okay, I'm going to smite with the Demon Prince. And that's a smite. That's a 9, 11. 10, 11. This will do D6 damage. Oh, no, he could blow up. Yeah, go on. Do it. Okay, D6 damage on the Mauler Fiend. For one, oh. the Mauler Fiend's alive or one wound left. I'm going to have to punch him instead. I've got that Gift of Contagion thing. No, because if I roll a doubles, it could give me terror. No. Do it. Do it. Okay, do it. it's okay. Do it. Uh, no, I need a 7 for Gift Contagion. It doesn't work. That's the end of my psychic phase. Um, let's shoot some guns. I'm going to spray guns from the Blight Lord Terminators. Not into them, because they're my pox walker making machine, the cultists. Let's shoot at all the pink dudes. After the shooting phase, all the Blight Lord Terminators firing into these noise marines here. Only killed two, because they're in cover. And they got to fire back when they did. And they picked on some pox walkers. But I made the saves. So it's all good. Kill two of them. Right, now we're going to charge. So Typhus in on him. Passes. Poxwalkers. We'll do the Overwatch off camera in a minute. Poxwalkers into cultists. I really need some more Poxwalkers. Yay, six. I'm in. I'm going to get some more Poxwalkers. And this guy in on your champ. Hmm. Yeah, let's kill your champion. Eleven. Oh, oh. My Plague Marines are angry. Okay, resolving the Overwatch. Um, what happened there, Paul? Tell everyone what happened. Paul, Paul, Paul. With your plasma gun, your champion. Well, the Chaos Lord really enjoyed the feeling of getting really warm. Yes. And glowy, and he kept his finger down on it too long. On the and he thought, I'm a Chaos Lord, I know where to take my finger off the button. But he didn't. He didn't. And he... it blew up in his face, and he's kind of lying on the floor, just enjoying being burnt all over. Yeah. So, hit on ones, re-roll in, and you roll snake eyes. Yeah, but you don't get to kill him. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just watch him squirming on the floor. <laughs> then we move the pox walkers in. Um, Chewie doesn't have any command points to interrupt, so let's swing away with them first. And at the end of that assault, uh, yeah, I've got ten more pox walkers. Yay. Hitting on fours and wounding on threes because of putrescent vitality. That squad is up to a lot. There's many there, as an orc would say. So back over to this assault. Um, I'm going to not give Typhus the joy of slaying that Maul of Fiend. That Demon Prince has bled for, uh, for glory. So he's going to strike the Maul of Fiend first. And he hits on twos and he re-rolls. And everything hit. And he's strength seven demons. Or are they strength six? Strength seven, toughness seven. It's the... 
that number of wounds, four wounds, minus two, two damage each. He's gone. Dead morphine, but don't blow up. Oh, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. D3 mortal wounds on the demon prince. Four, two, two. and on typhus. Three. 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 Two disgustingly resilient on the demon prince. The demon's still alive! He no. makes them both! Ooh. Three on Typhus, three on Typhus. Come on, Typhus. And he makes two of them as well. Oh. I make four out of five disgustingly resilient saves. Typhus, you hero. And the crowd were really happy that I made all those saves, weren't you guys? Uh, no. Okay, well, it's, uh, well, you need to roll off to see who goes next. Uh, it's your turn. Let's roll some dice. Three, five. Oh, Alpha Legion and Black Legion. Alpha Legion get a four, Black Legion get a six. Can Chewy it, take some brutal revenge? Chewy, it's six, he got the six. You can choose. Oh yeah, you can, you choose. can choose. Right, what, what's going on? Well, I've chosen to let the claw go first. Yes. Because um, I haven't really got a lot going on here. You've got Predator and some characters. Yeah. I haven't got, I'm not in risk of you because you've already had your turn. Yeah. And the reason why I've chosen Paul, he's got more DAC and more stuff to deal with, and unfortunately Paul hasn't. And the consensus appears to be, let's like, just mess up the Death Guard as much as possible. Hey. I don't which particularly you... want to go next, but... You don't want to go next? I wanted to go last. But... Ah, do some sneaky Alpharius type stuff. Yes. See, you could bribe these guys to make Luke I go next. I want to go one left. Okay, okay, alright. So are we saying it's Alpha Legion next? I think we are saying self religion next. Paul, you just you're getting inside his head too much. <laughs> you're a bad influence on him. Alpharius is here. The Alpha Legion have broken out of the shadows and all of a sudden are making their presence known in the Temple of Terror for the first time. And the cultists ran a long way forward, which is pretty good. Rhino's still locked up in combat, dreadnought moving forward. The sorcerer is stuck in here, directing I can't even see him. He's so good in the shadows. The sorcerer is casting what on what? Uh, I'm going to do prescience on a helmet. Okay, rolling up. Uh, and that's a, a lot. And I'm out of deny range. I don't know if anyone else can deny that. I have no interest in denying that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have no striker. <laughs> okay then, so prescience works. Uh, next. Uh, I've got a little strength on my warlord, Alpharius um, 1. Alpharius number 1. And that is a 4 plus 2 is 6, is that? Diabolical strength. Yep, it's a six, that passes, and you can do an extra spell. Are you smiting, sir? Yes. I'll push my luck one more time. Pushing the luck, let's go. And that's a lot. Okay, so that isn't a double, so no terrors of the warp, and that's Good. above ten, because it's plus two, it's twelve. So it's gonna do D six damage to the closest unit, that which is. I think is that guy in a unit of one, because you're right in the corner. Yep. Yeah. But I'll have a lot of disgustingly resilient saves to make. So roll d6 and see how many wounds. Six. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be enough. Oh, yeah, it's enough. He's dead. So onto the shooting phase. The Blood Lord Terminator is going to attract a lot of heat. Fortunately, they have Miasma of Pestilence on, so minus one to hit. We fire in the Pred? Yep. Okay, force to hit. One hit. Wounds on a three. And he wounds... Uh, I need a four up and vulnerable save. Yeah. And I make it. Nurgle holding tough there. We're doing the dread? We are. Okay, so he moves to minus one, but plus one again for prescience, minus one again for miasma. So he's in on fours. So I'll do the first. Okay. And it hits, and it wounds on a three. Doesn't wound. Uh, I'll use your command point you gave me earlier. That's Can we roll that? That's very rude. Uh, and that's your last command point. Okay, re rolling the one. Excellent. And it wounds. I need a four up in fun, which I fail, and I've got one command. No, no. <laughs> Does uh, Do six damage. D6 damage with your melter. Two. Now I might survive this. Two disgustingly resilient. No. I don't survive no. this. You kill one. And then you've got a missile launcher which hits on a four, because you're doing the crap shot. Yep. And that misses. Okay, a terminator falls. The Temple of Terror lights up with a cacophony of bolt gun rounds, flamers, plasma and melter and the Terminators are untouched. Then we moved on to the charge phase. No damage done in Overwatch. This troops unit ended up here. The champion there, the other unit, managed to get a long charge and came through the gap. Now we have some troops 
right next to the totem. So if they survive, this will be a point for Alpharius. Right, starting off the fight phase. Three tactical marines in there, attacking the Blight Lord Terminator. It's hitting on fours though, because of Miasma. Rerolling the ones, because the captain's right nearby. Okay, so two hits, wounding on fives. Uh, one, no wounds. And then you've got a fist. The fist, so it's minus one to hit because it's a fist, and minus one to hit again because of Miasma. So these are going to hit on fives. But you reroll ones. Uh, no, so that's that unit done. Then we have four tactical marines in the other squad over there because their sergeant died earlier on when the plasma pistol really blew up. Um, three of them hit because it's fours to hit. And fives to wound. Two wounds, two to up saves. I make it. But now we're on to the champion, now on to the main event. He's really got to do some damage here because these tacticals are going to get hit back. So he has five attacks. Plus one. Plus one and uh, minus one. Three rolling ones for both phases. Yes. Uh, and he hits on twos, minus one to hit because of miasma. So that number of attacks. Plus one because of the spell. And this is strength what? Plus one with the murder sword and plus one with the spell. So he's winning on threes actually. It gets one in there. Just one. Oh, re -roll. oh yeah, you reroll. So two wounds. I have two four up and vulnerable saves to make, which I fail. How much damage does a murder sword do when it's not its victim? Is it one or many? One damage each. The victim of the murder sword was the um, uh, Empress Children dude who died when he overwatched. Uh, so that's why I discussed the resilience, which I fail. One of the Terminators dies. Then we went over here, the Rhino and the Poxwalkers not hurting each other, then back over here. Right, my Plague uh, Black Lord Terminator had to pile into the closest enemy unit, which was this way. I wanted to put them on the troops that are right next to the totem, but I can't. I have to put them this way, which is annoying. Um, so I've got two attacking those unit of troops, and these three will attack the troops. Need to clear, mind you, there's a lot more troops coming, so is there any point? And your captain is buffing everyone. They're a turn or two away, mm. those are the troops. Yeah. So he's with an inch of someone who's... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's put everything on the captain here, these two guys in the Alpha Legion. So back there, there is an axe and a sword. So here's the axe, uh, which hits once and wounds on a three. That's a wound at minus two AP on your tactical. Kills one. And here's the sword. Have I got Putrescent? But no, I haven't got on these guys. One hit and one wound at minus three AP. And it kills two tactical squads over there. And now we're going to swing against your Lord. So there's a sword and an axe. Sword against the Lord. Hits twice. Wounds on fours. Wounds once. Uh, Seagull of Corruption save. Four up and bun. He's fine. And the axe hits twice. Wounds on threes. Both wound, minus two, so two signal of corruption saves. The Lord takes two wounds. He's got three left. And now I'm gonna smack him with a mace. The number of attacks is four attacks. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. I think it's a plague weapon. It is a plague weapon. Rerolled a wound. So three wounds at minus two, two damage each. So three, four up saves. You've got three left. He saves two, takes one. The Lord has got one wound left. And that's the end of the combat. That's the end of Alpha Legion turn two. Turn three. And the Alpha Legion now control the sigil in the middle of the table. And you two guys need to roll off to see who goes first. Yeah. So, uh, I don't think I'm going to last minute. There's no morale there. So let's see who goes first. And it's Black Legion. Your choice, sir. Chooses who goes. I'll do it. I'll okay. go first and give it out of the way. The Black Legion only have three models left on the table, so the Exalted Champion and the Dark Apostle come busting through the ruin there, trying to tie up the Poxwalkers. Now we're on to the shooting phase. we have got a Trilas Predator. Yes. What's that firing at? I'm going to have to fire it, make sure all of my weapons, because I've made this mistake before, Yes. at your Demon Prince. At the Demon Prince. It is the closest character, but it's right next to your Predator, and he can move a long way. Exactly why I'm trying to target him. Okay, threes to hit. And how much you get? Two hits. Two hits. Wounding on threes. 
both wound minus three AP. I have a demon save. I save one, fail one. D6 damage. Two. Two damage. I have two. One wound left. Mm -hmm. Can I make both of my disgusting mm -hmm. demons? Come down. It's, it's going to be fine. <laughs> Hey. I have a command point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How annoying would it be if I re-roll this? Oh yeah, very annoying. Yeah, do it. yeah, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> the demon lives! <laughs> and then a pistol fired into the Poxwalker killing one, and now the Dark Apostle and the Champion are in amongst this horde of Poxwalkers. Now let's fight. And the Vicar and the Champion slaughter a bunch of Poxwalkers. I've already piled in, and then we remember that uh, Chewie uh, picks the order of operations, so he's picking Alpha Legion next, then Death Company next. Death uh, Card. Death Card next. I make Company a mistake. Company my last army. Yeah, so uh, the champion hits the, is hitting the um, Terminators, right? Yep. He's hitting on threes. And he hit reroll ones. That's really unfortunate. He only no. hit three times. Is he not hitting on two? Oh, no. No, Miasma. One wound. Look at the tree. Three wounds. Three, four up and buns. I make them all. <laughs> and then after you select a unit, then I select a unit, and then it goes back to Chewie, then back to the Alpha Legion, then back to me. So it's Pick my turn to select a unit. Pick them. Pick them. Nah, so he's had a fight, so I think what I'm going to do, he's only got one wound left. I need to kill the troops. And there's a plane outside. This unit got fist in. I'm going to put everything at the unit with the fist in. So, uh, sword. Presumably, once. he can't, huh? Well, these. I'm selecting this unit, so it's going to be three on there. Oh, and then two, two there. Yeah. And I'm going to leave his champion alone. Because I need to get rid of the troops that are next to the objective. You see what I mean? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so one hit with the sword. And doesn't wound with the sword. With the axe. One hit with the axe. One wound with the axe, minus two, it kills a dude, and then the flail hits three, five times, and I rolled too many dice. I'm going to do that again, because that was cheating. And I hit three times, and I wound on, come back, I will wound on threes, two wounds at minus two. So two in this squad die, so your sergeant's still alive, and then the sword and the axe are going to hit that two unit behind. Sword, misses, axe, hits once, rerolls to wound, wounds once, minus two AP on one of the guys in the back, and one of that troop dies. And it looks like this, uh, one tactical marine in this squad, tactical marine, one legionary in that squad, one legionary in that squad and the champion, you've done your charging units first, so we're back to the alpha legion and you can pick one of these squads to fight. My terminators have all fought now, so you're going to get some free swings in at the terminators. Champion, okay, and he misses because it's minus one to hit plus miasma. And then the normal tactical marine hits once and he misses as well. Mm -hmm. Reroll to hit. Reroll to hit, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he misses. Reroll to hit because of the champion. So that fight continues. Then we're on to my pox walkers. And we've counted it up already. There's eight of them hitting that dude, nine of them hitting that dude. We've done the eight attacks on the champion. He survived them all. And now I've just rolled the attacks on the one with one wound left, the vicar. No, oh, the champion. This guy here has got yeah. one wound left. Yeah. I've got nine attacks on him. Uh, well, 18 attacks and 14 of them got through. So uh, I'm straight to four. And I did this many wounds. And he's got a three up save, right? Mm -hmm. So I think your champion could be in trouble. No, but touch the dice. Yes. Touch, the dice oh, right? touch them. Touch them. Three up save. And he's gone. The champion falls. And I get a pop talker. That's the end of the Black Legion turn three. We lost three in this squad of Alpha Legion. So don't roll a six and you'll be okay. He's okay rolling a five. Hanging in there. So for now, the Alpha Legion still control this totem. It's the Empress Children turn three coming up. And uh, we are running out of models fast. So let's go to Empress Children, turn three. The remainder of the Empress Children move forward. The Noise Marines moving forward. Sorcerer there and the Hellbrook back around the back. So 
That's it for the Emperor's Children. We're moving on to the psychic phase. Do you know what you want to do? Yeah, prescience on the noise range. Okay, let's do it. And that passes. Nine. Yes. No denial going on, unless you'd like to deny it, Claw. Was, would Alpharius um, want to deny that one? Alpharius wants rid of those terminators. Does he? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dwight for Agony's on the Nose Marines. Yes. That's a seven, eight, nine. They've got a five up feel no pain now. Yep. Okay. And that's Mike. Okay. Which would also hit the terminators. Yes. And that's an eight, eight. nine. So that's D3 mortal wounds. Eight. Yep. On the Terminator. One mortal wound on the Terminator. Five up, disgusting, you resilient, and I fail. One takes a wound. Now, firing the Noise Marines, as discussed earlier, both of these units are in combat, but they're all everything in front of uh, Paul here is enemy, so he can fire at what he wants. So, what are we firing at? Right, well, I was going to put everything into the, the Terminators, yes. but I really don't think the Sonic Blasters will do anything to them. Okay. I think. They are better utilised thinning out pox walkers. Right, okay. So 15 shots for pox walkers. Yes. And you've got prescience, so you hit on yeah. twos. Eight saves on the pox walkers. And four of them die. And then the what into the what? This the Doom Siren into the Terminator D6 hits. Okay. Six, the big six. And this is strength five, right? These yep. are auto hits as well. Yep. Fours. Uh, that's four wounds. Minus one? Minus two. Minus two, yep. so four up and buns. And five up disgustingly resilient. Uh, one of them dies. It'll take fail one, one's already on a wound. That one there dies. And there's more. What's coming next? 2d3 shots with the Sonic Blast, uh, Blastmaster, sorry. Yep. yep. So that's four, four shots. These they, they moved, so uh -huh. they're going to hit on threes. Moved and pressing on so threes in the end. And minus one to hit because of... Uh, miasma, so hit on four, so that's oh, one hit. Oh, that's a bit of a pain. One hit. Strength. Eight. One's on a three. That's a wound. Minus two. Minus two, four up, which I make. Then the Hellbrute firing the combi bolter at the Poxwalkers, didn't do any damage, and now firing the Twin Blast Master at the Terminators. Now it's minus one to hit because you moved, and minus one to hit because of Miasma or Pestilence. See how many shots I get? Uh, four. Four shots. So this will work. You should get one in. You get two in. Two hits, strength eight, wounds on threes. threes, no wounds. Um, that's the end of the shooting phase. Now we've got a very important charge coming in. Do these count as troops for you? Yes. So if you swarm that objective, yes. you're going to get another point. Yes. I can't overwatch because we're all locked up in combat. So you are charging. You might as well just go straight into the charge phase. I'm debating whether or not to fire a demon shell with the sorcerer to do some mortal wounds to terminators. But you are just going to pull from that side. Yes. It isn't going to make any real difference to Yes. You. I'd like that. Yeah, and yeah, no. <laughs> no. So straight into the charge phase, okay. I'm declare a charge. How many units have you got there, Claw? I've There's got three, three units there. I'm declaring a charge against all four of these units. Okay, nothing can fire, everything's in combat. Let's see how far you get. And the Emperor children charge and pile into the Blight Lord Terminators. So Hypo spent his last command point on Veterans of the Long War. So, swinging away, everything at the Terminators, what okay. are we doing? Okay, power sword first. Okay. So are the minus one to hit minus in this phase as well? Yeah. Okay, with the plus one to hit from Prescient, so it's okay. threes. And uh, that's two hits. Plus fours. one to wound, so threes. Uh, no, fours, because yeah. they will be fives. Yeah. Two wounds, two four up and buns. And I failed them both, Snake Eyes Gaming. Uh, let's get five up, disgustingly resilient. And oh, you scorny! No, why? It's not me, it's Nurgle. <laughs> right, next stuff coming in. Threes to hit. Minus one, plus one. And then you just need fours to wound because you've got win. veterans. And that's quite well, a lot. How many have we got there? Not enough. Um, but numerically, eight. Numerically eight. Eight, two up saves. I fail one, disgustingly resilient. I fail that. I take a wound. Now it should... Paul picked Black Legion first, so he swung away at the Poxwalkers and they made their disgustingly resilient saves. Now it's an Alpha Legion and uh, the champion's fighting. He's still buffed, the psychic power is still in effect, so an extra attack. He hits on twos, down to threes because of because of my asthma, so four get through, wounding on 
fives. Oh no, it's plus one strength, so wounding on fours. Two wounds. Two four up and vulnerable saves. I fail on both. Two disgustingly resilience. I fail one of them, so a Terminator does fall, and then it's my turn. And I need to kill that champion, or I'm not gonna live. Um, but these two guys are out of range of him, so they will attack that one tactical marine there in the Alpha Legion, and he will put on it. I got one there attacking the Alpha Legion, and this guy will attack them, and he is within an inch of him, so he will attack your lord. Yeah, that's how I do it. So axe on Alpha Legion. And I hit once, and I'll wound on a three, and I'll wound five up, and he's dead. And then the axe on the sonic guys, one hit, I'll wound on a three, and I'll wound on a five up. And a five up delightful agonies, because you quite like that. Oh yeah. Oh, they really like it. <laughs> ah, that and was then, a good one. <laughs> <laughs> he tickled me. Uh, number of hits versus your lord, he's got one wound left. So four hits, hitting on threes. Three hits, get through. Wounding on threes. Two wounds at minus two. So two, four up and buns. Oh, he's dead. He's alive still. Nice. That's the end of that combat. Now you can pick a unit. The Alpha Legion can pick a unit. That's the last thing left. So, yeah. Okay, your sergeant. He's dead. Punches. And he hits and fires with his fist. Because Miasma is still in effect. A pilot? Yeah, yeah. Five to it. And he misses. And then we go on to this fight here. Then the Rhino and the Poxwalkers just slapped at each other. And now we need to do this combat here. Poxwalkers, Poxwalkers versus the champion. And he's not the champion, he's the vicar. And I got six wounds in, so six saves to make. He's got three to get through. He's, gone. he's dead. She he is dead. Is. And we don't have any morale to take. I lost three Terminators. Only three left in the melee. Now the Emperor's Children control the totem in the middle of the table for one more point. So it's two points to the Emperor's Children and one point to the end of all things. To the Plague Marines, to the Death Guard. The Alpha Legion have zero points at this time. However, they've got a Sorcerer tucked in there. The Champion's still alive. The guy with the fist is still alive. You've got 40 cultists, a Dreadnought, a Predator in the backfield. You've got the largest force left for turn four turn five to come sneaking in there. Chewie and the Black Legion, they got a tri -Lars Predator left. Is that your band? <laughs> <laughs> Chewie and the tri -Lars Predator. <laughs> and uh, the Emperor's Children, well, they've got a Sorcerer and some Noise Marines and a Hellbrute left, but they are winning on two points to one. Right, let's roll up to see who chooses who goes first. So let's roll some dice. There's a five and a five and a six. I rolled a six. The end of all things. Turn four, and we put the dice down for the nom nom nomming from the demons from underneath. So let's see which one goes boom. That's a, we're Zero. ignoring fives and sixes. We're ignoring fives and sixes. Four. four. That one. That one over there. Mm. Right, this is going to sting. This is going to hit the sorcerer, which is under here. And do D3 mortal wounds. Right, so let's do D3 mortal wounds to your sorcerer. Your sorcerer takes three mortal wounds. Down to one. Let's do D3 mortal wounds on this guy here. He's dead. Who put this dice here? <coughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> D3 mortal wounds on your champion who's got one wound left. He's dead. Thanks for that. And D3 mortal wounds on the Black Lord Terminator. As soon as you stuck the dice there, you might as well roll to see how many wounds you get on these Terminators. Three. Oh, three. Three disgustingly resilience. And I fail them all. I got very few things left to move. The last remaining Plague Marine advanced off of there and has ran down this way. Now, I've got a character in front of Typhus, so he can't be picked on, and a character in front of the Demon Prince, so he can't be picked on because there's a tri -Laz Predator there. That makes perfect narrative sense. Get in front of us. It makes narrative <laughs> sense. Die for me! Yeah, that does. Right, so he can't see the Terminators anymore, so I have to do Pretrescent Vitality on the Poxwalkers. And that's a double. That's a double, which fails and does Terrors of the Warp. And I roll a six. Oh. Transformation. Until your next Psychic Phase, the Psyker, Typhus, has a strength characteristic of ten and a two-up and vulnerable save. Lovely. And I can keep casting. <laughs> so Miasma of Pestilence on the Poxwalkers. 
which passes, um, so it's minus one to hit the Poxwalkers. And then he's going to do Smite. Now, the closest thing in line of sight and range is actually the Predator, but... Um, and that passes and does D3 mortal wounds on the Predator, which is two mortal wounds on the Predator. Right. Over to this dude. The demon is casting Stream of Corruption? The one that nerfs them on the uh, pink dudes. And that fails. I need a seven. And he's also going to Smite. And that passes. That'll be a four plus two is six. And yeah. he needs a seven to deny. And you roll a four. So this will do D3 mortal wounds on the pink guys. Two mortal wounds. You've got the life lag needs. Let's see if they like it. They don't like it. Two of them die. And when they died, they turned around and shot two poxwalkers. Now it's the charge phase. So the demon prince will charge in. And he makes it in. They're already engaged in close combat. So he's there. And then I get to fight first. And then you're going to fight the terminators. So do I want to go with the mace or with the demon? I think the demon will probably kill more. Yeah, put Poxwalkers in. Oh yeah, Poxwalkers. Poxwalkers in. I want more Poxwalkers. Right. So the Poxwalkers are in. So the demon swings, he hits on twos. And he re-rolls ones, thank heavens. Um, so they all hit. Uh, he's strength seven. Now I'll wound on threes. Oh no. I'll do four wounds. At minus two, two damage each. Saves at five. And it's another one to save. I did four. Did four, sorry. Yes. My apologies. Okay, so yeah. you save two anyway, and then two, right. yep. Two wounds each? Just... Yep, yep. Do I have He's oh, dead. Dead. Do I have I okay. killed two, and then they next get to fight. Before Paul took them away, they turned around and struck the demon prince and managed to wound him and add a two-up save with the suppurating plate. Oh. Which I fail. Boom. And I've disgustingly resilient. Unboom. Boom. 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 The demon <laughs> is dead. Then the Poxwalkers and the Noise Marines continued to slap each other, and every time I killed one, one more got to fight back. This is where we ended up at the end. Now, I can't select the Terminators to fight, because you can only select a model within an inch of an enemy unit, and they didn't charge. So they can't fight. The Terminators can't get to fight this turn. And this is how we end up at the end of the fight. And you lost six models. So you have a morale test to make, sir. Um... But I think we've just missed another combat. So let's do this combat. And they didn't hurt each other. And now we're on to the morale phase. Right. I want a one or a two. I want a six or a seven. Yep. You'll be hard pressed to get a seven. Okay. Three plus mm. six One is runs away. Nine. Leadership eight. One runs away. And this is how we end up. One. Noise main left in the center. However, these plague marines... Uh, Blood Lord Terminators are not magic anymore. And yes, it's minus one to hit my Poxwalkers, but they're only toughness three without a save. So you three guys need a roll up to see who goes next. Um, good luck. And it's Alpha Legion. To choose. To choose. Okay, the claw. Who's going next? Chewie. Chewie's going next. Yeah. You're not going next. You, you sir, are a bad influence. Or either that, or you're a tactical genius. Because the um, the talking that's going on here, no one really wants me to win. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. So it's Chewie's turn with his Trilaz Predator. What you're shooting at? You can shoot at the Plague Marine. I'm shooting the Terminators. You're going to shoot at my Blight Lord Terminators. Mm. Okay. Let's pull the trigger. Tasting on fours. Is it? Is it nerfed? It is nerfed. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, and it still hits three times. It's wounding on threes. And it will wounds all of the times. I need to make four up in bundles. And I make one. So D6 damage on the first guy. Two. Two disgustingly resilient. He's alive. And then D6 damage on the next guy. You just broke a little bit inside there, didn't you? <laughs> disgustingly. Okay, so you kill a Terminator. Uh, Mace or... He's the sergeant. But that's a mace, so I need to take him away. And now you two, the claw and say hi Paul, Alpha Legion and the Emperor's Children need to roll off to see who, who chooses to go next. Oh yeah, that was a whole turn. No, that was a, a fight turn. phase to do. Oh, there's a fight phase, you're right. You see, it's confusing. I'm oh, that's first. why, yeah, because you wanted me to kill him in this phase, so then you can shoot into my box walkers and thin them out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Like 
All right, fight away with your dude. Um, and he's still prescient, but that's two hits. And he wounds on threes. Two mm. wounds, two five disgustingly resilient. One poxwalker dies, and then I'll swing in at your dude. And the last of the noise marines gets dragged down, taking another poxwalker down with him. Then back over to here. These things continue to slap each other and do no damage at all. And that's the end of Black Legion turn four. Right, so now the um, Emperor's Children and the Alpha Legion need to roll off to see who goes or chooses. And the Alpha Legion can choose one more time. Claw. Are you sure that's the best idea? Yes. Damn. The voices in my head said it was. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on to the Emperor's Children turn four. Right then, Paul moved his two models, and we're on to the psychic phase. Um, the sorcerer doing what? Uh, first off, smite. Smiting away. And that is a pass, and that is a perils, or terrors of the warp. But first, Ooh. resolve the effect D6. Oh. Six. Six on my box walkers. This might work between you guys. Five up disgustingly resilient. I'm going to lose four of them, and then roll a D6, and let's consult the table. Nope. Six. He's got a strength characteristic of ten and a two up invulnerable save. Booyah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that worked. That right. happened. What's well, next? Press it into the dreadnought. Press it into the dreadnought. And that, that works. works. I can try and deny with Typhus. I don't really care because it's minus one to hit because you moved and minus one to hit because of. I should try to deny. Yeah, I'll deny that. Uh, what did you roll? Less than that, I think. Okay. Yeah. Press ins denied. Right, and I'll delightfully agonise myself. Okay. <laughs> and that uh -oh. works. And that's a perils. Again, terrors of the warp. And you roll a six again. Another two of the vulnerable saves. So you're, you're strength 20. <laughs> <laughs> With a two up re rollable. There's strength 10, I, I two up and vulnerable that. save. <laughs> that's the end of your psychic phase. Now, uh, shoot. And the hell brute, let's see if we can clear away these pox walkers. Right, what are we doing? Right. Uh, Doom Siren, D6 hits. Yes. That's six. Six auto hits. Strength? Five. Five. Toughness, three right now. So wounding on three. Threes. And that is two wounds. Two disgustingly resilient. Two of them die. Next. All right, Combi Bolter. Yeah. Uh, Four shots, it's in rapid fire range. Yep, fours to hit, no hits. There. Right, I'm going for the variable frequency on the Blastmaster, so it's assault, it's assault D6, we've got two of them, so it's yep. assault 2D6. Seven, Seven shots. Is this a heavy weapon? That's no, an assault, assault weapon. weapon. So it's fours to hit. I'm well, pressing so it's threes. Threes to hit, yep. Yeah. Um, four hits. Strength? Four. Toughness. North cover, one, one AP, yep. yada yada yada. Three wounds, three more. Three disgustingly resilient. Three more die, and are you going to fire a pistol with your dude? You are quite let's right. Get them away. No, let's take them away. They're close to the thing. I think you picked up four there. I did pick up four. That's right. Fire a pistol. Nope. Misses. And that's the end of your turn, unless you wish to charge. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What are you thinking? <laughs> I'm strength of terror with the two of them, save. Yeah. So Terminator or Poxwalkers? Oh, the agony of choice. All right, it's mine, bitches. Right, the sorcerer is in. And then he swings away. Minus one to hit. Threes, I think. So fours. Fours. And he hits a lot of times. And it's strength 10 right now. So he's actually strength 12. Strength he's got 12. a four tax. Okay. And he wounds three times. I still get disgustingly resilient. I think it's multiple wounds from the four sacks. Is it? I think so. Oh yeah, you're right. It's D3 a time. So first, first one. one is two. He's alive. Second one is two. He's dead. And then the last one is three. He's alive. You killed you one pox walker. You are kidding me. One pox walker. You spawny, spawny so-and-so. Three will fight back. They hit on fives now because they're a bit poorly. Uh, one hit. And I'm wounding on a five. And it doesn't wound. And that's the end of the pink guys. Turn four. Six. Oh no, we've got this fight here. Wants to roll a six. He wants to roll Five a six. Over one. He finally Yay! rolled a six. Yay! Wounding on twos. One wound. <laughs> disgusting. Oh, you squished one. Yay. The Pox Walker failed. It's disgustingly resilient. Didn't scratch the rhino. Now that is the end of the pink guys. Turn four. 
We're on to Alpha Legion turn four, which let's face it, I've got a couple of models left. You've got one model left. You've got two models left. The Alpha Legion, there's a lot of them. It's two points to the Emperor's Children, one point to the end of all things. Are the Alpha Legion gonna steal this? Here we are after the Alpha Legion movement phase and it happened. Rolled the big six for the advance. And they've come charging all the way through the windows of the ruin and we checked and we double checked and one model is two and a half inches away from the center of the totem. Uh, right now, the Poxwalkers outnumber these guys on the center of that totem, but probably not for very much longer. Um, can't target the character because it's a character. Can target this. The Sorcerer's still tucked under here. So this is very interesting. Well, let's go into the Psychic phase. What's Sorcerer doing? We're having uh, prescience on the Halbert. Okay, so let's roll up and see what you get. Oh, oh, and that's a double. So prescience goes off. Let's resolve the psych. Um, let's see what happens with terrors of the war. You're going to get another dice. That's a five. Possession. Wow. Roll two d six. If the total is greater than the psychic's leadership, they're possessed and controlled by your opponent for Which the rest of the right. battle. Right. right. Roll greater than a nine, please. No. no. Oh, he's okay. So the hellbrute is prescient stuff. What else you doing? I'm going to smite. Smiting away. Smite with plus two works. Um, I will try and deny over here with Typhus because it's going to hit my Terminator. And I managed to deny. So it was a double, wasn't it? Denying doesn't... Was that a doubles again? Double two. Was it? Sorry, man. Oh, it was. Oh, Roll a d6 to <laughs> see what happens. Three. Three. A, one. a door closes. The Psyker immediately forgets the Psyker power and cannot mess manifest this power for the rest of the battle. No more smiting. Shooting. What? Shooting at what? Uh, the Predator? Yes. He's shooting the Pop Forkers? The box walkers. Okay, uh, force to hit because it's minus one to hit. And you hit once and you wound on a two. And you wound and do d6 damage. Oh. One, disgustingly resilient. Can I take a last cannon round? No, no I can't. No, okay. There's two box walkers left. Havoc's firing in, force to hit. And uh, yeah, three hits and they'll wound on threes. And no wounds from the Havocs. Dreadnought, what are we firing now? Uh, frag. Frag fires four times and it hits on fours and it wounds on threes. Strength four, toughness three. Two wounds, two disgustingly resilience. I make one fail one, one pox walker remains. So currently we equal each other on the number of units on that objective and then you fire a melter in, which misses. And that's the end of the shooting phase. The Hellbrook is now charging. You need a nine to get in there. And that's a seven. That doesn't cut it. In the fight phase, the Rhino revs its engine, misses the Poxwalkers. And now we have three attacks from the dude against the Poxwalkers, the Sorcerer against the Poxwalkers. No, Minus I, one to hit. I kind of don't want to hit this guy. Got to hit. Yes, you do. No, no. And you yeah. hit twice. You will wound on twos. Kill it, kill it, kill it. You both wound, and each of these does D3 damage. So which one would you like me to roll first? I suppose I'm going to save them all. You've got to save them all. It's just three, three disgustingly ups. resilient saves. You can do it. Yay! Ooh. No, I don't. He is dead. <gasps> the Pox Walk is dead. Lied. For the Emperor. That's the end <laughs> of the combat. We want so much pain, don't we? That's the end of turn four, because there's no more charges or anything like that coming in. Pox Walkers, they'll scratch the Rhino. And what happens is, is this troop's... Guy is closer to he's these are troops. So troops always score. Your sorcerer doesn't score. So at the end of turn four, it's one point for the Alpha Legion, one point for the Death Guard, and two points for the Emperor's Children. Right, the dice are down to see where the ground will open up, but before then, let's roll to see who chooses to go first. So I roll a six, four, five. Oh, so I can choose whether to go first or not. It's too complicated. I'm just going to pick my me going first. So let's roll the dice and see where this thing comes up. Three. Where is the three? It's oh, next to the predator. The three is next to the predator. Does D3 mortal wounds. It's three mortal wounds on the predator. Right, let's move on to death guard movement phase. I have three models left. Plague Marine. 
Typhus busting through the wall there, and um, the Death Guard guy with the Blood Lord Terminator thing with the mace. Now, I need to kill... Oh, and these guys here, they don't count. I need to kill as many cultists as I can, because uh, to make morale a thing, so that they die, they fall away. I think that's the only what. All I was going to say is what you could do is you could bring your terminator around here to mean that he can't get any closer to the objective if you charge him. Yeah. Then he can't. He can only consolidate towards you. Can't go any closer to the idol. That's a really good idea. I haven't moved him yet. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Paul. yeah. Thanks, Paul. But <laughs> he can he can pull away from in the middle if he needs to. Um, yeah, but he won't be able to get any any of them any nearer. You're right. Let's do some psychic stuff. In the psychic phase, terrors of the warp happened, and Typhus took two mortal wounds. He's down to three left, um, but he did manage to get Miasma of Pestilence off on this guy, so he is minus one to hit. And I smited two of them, killing two of them, and then the Blight Launcher shot another two of them, which is four dead, so morale is going to be a thing. And that's the end of the shooting phase and psychic phase. Then he charges, but we need to do a lot of overwatch. All right, that was a lot of gun. The Blight Lord Terminator died. Now Typhus needs a 9 inch charge, I don't care, let's go for it. Uh, that's going to be fail, and a, a lot less overwatch will hit me this time because the flamers are out of range. Typhus took a wound and failed this charge, and that's the end of my turn. Now you've got a leadership test on these guys. Uh, leadership 6, you lost 4. Got to try and whittle them down. Uh, that's 7, that's one more cultist done. And that's the end of the end of all things in the Temple of Terror. Now these three commanders need to roll off to see who chooses the order this turn. And Black Legion and Emperor's Children get a re-roll. And it is Emperor's Children to choose. And then Say Hi Paul gave the next turn to Chewie, who's going to fire two shots at the last cannon at the Plague Marine and two shots at the Dreadnought over there. And the Predator turns the Plague Marine to paste, and the shots bounce off the Dreadnought. That's the end of the Black Legion's turn in the Temple of Terror. Now we're on to Emperor's Children and Alpha Legion. You guys need to roll off again. And it's going to be Say Hi Paul choosing one more time whether to go or whether to give it to Alpharius. So the Emperor's Children are going next, and the Sorcerer confronts this horde of cultists that come charging through, and the Dreadnought opens fire. And with varied frequency, that Dreadnought cuts down seven cultists. Now we've got a charge coming up, and a lot of Overwatch. On Overwatch, the cultist managed to cause three wounds, so you have three. Three up saves, he doesn't have his two up and done anymore. And he hey. fails one, but you've got delightful agonies off, right? Ooh. So five up to keep your Warlord alive. Oh, second oh. He is still alive. He's not the Warlord. The Warlord already died. He makes it into combat. Then the cultists pile in, hitting on fours. We hit on fives. They managed to do three wounds again. Three in the shooting phase, three in the assault phase. Can you make the saves? Yes, you yes. can. He lives. Now, we figured out you lost ten in total during that phase. They're least a six. So roll a dice. And that's a five plus ten is fifteen. Minus six is nine. Nine the more flee. And this is where we end up after the assault, and it's the Alpha Legion's turn five, and we just worked out that we don't need to do anything because they're going to score that objective. There's no way the Sorcerer is going to be able to kill more than three cultists in the Alpha Legion's turn, and the game ends in turn five. So at the end of turn five, the Alpha Legion get another point, making it two points to the Alpha Legion, Two points to the Emperor's Children and one point to the Death Guard and zero points to the Black Legion. Uh, so the list that we thought that would come along and stomp everyone um, got picked on and uh, didn't get any points. So at the end of the game, it's a draw between the Emperor's Children and the Alpha Legion. However, it is not over. In the rules for the book, what you do is you work out the power levels of each army that came. And if it's a draw, and it is then the army with the lowest power level wins. And they're both figuring out their stuff. So we're soon going to find out the power levels and find out who wins the favour of the gods in the Temple of Terror. And with the power of mathematics, we found out that the um, Alpha Legion power level is way behind that of the Emperor's Children. 
So the Alpha Legion win that game, which kind of makes sense for me, because I've got Typhus, the Black Legion did have a Predator over there, which is already gone. The Empress Children have two models left, and the Alpha Legion, well, they have their Dreadnought, they have their Havocs are still up here, the Sorcerer's under there, the Predator in the backfield, they've got more assets. They stayed back in the corner, all sneaky-like, and then came in and stole it and won the favour of the um, of the Chaos Gods. So, how did you find that, boys? Ah, uh, that was great fun. Good fun. Good fun. Um, mm -hmm. It was... Very surprising some of the mechanics that happened in the game, I thought. Who's going first turned out to be a real important mechanic. Um, Especially because the thing that I found most was when choosing who to go in what order, it wasn't necessarily that you wanted to go first. Yes. But because units were locked up in ongoing combat, if you let someone else have a turn or someone else have a turn, other people's units got ground down with more and more fight phases before you could before yeah. you had to deal with them. Because you had one shooting phase... But there was multiple fight phases before it got back to you. You had one psychic phase, and that psychic power would kick over for turn after turn while the other guys did stuff before it came back to you. So psychic turned out to be very powerful, and shoot and assault turned out to be very powerful. And staying away out of all the assaults and all the psychic shenanigans... And bring in a lot more cultists. And bring in 180... I mean, <laughs> this is the unit that hit my poxwalkers and then turned and ran away and came back in with their mates. They're the ones <laughs> that won the game. The ones that came in over there, they just they got annihilated, but they held up the Black Legion long enough to make them drop out of the game. Uh, it was interesting because the Black Legion looked really strong in turn one, then I looked really strong in turn two, and then everyone picked on me, and um, yeah, that was yeah, quite I mean, mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> Mercilessly. But at the end, I think um, Alpha Legion deserved to win that. They've yes. clearly got a lot yeah. Yeah, more left on the table. Some sneaky shenanigans going on there. Oh, it yes. was. That's what we do. Great to fun, uh, great fun to film. A long, long day. I'm certain that there's mistakes all over this video, but uh, you know, it's four way, free for all. It's hard to keep track. Anyway, so let's close out. This terrain brought to you by GameMat.eu. This battle mat is Hot Dice Miniatures. One minute. Yes, Hot Dice Miniatures, a Canadian company. Um, and I want to thank you three for coming down and fighting me. Thank you very much. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Happy wargaming. So what 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 what, what happened? Well, then you forgot to say some really important things like catchphrases that you have. Yeah. yeah. Thank you to all my patrons. Okay. Yeah. Thanks to patrons. Thanks yeah. you three patrons. Yes. And what? No, just us three. Right. <laughs> there are many. You already found many. There are many, okay. many, many more. Many more. Who, uh, you know. Oh, the make other one. Happen. Okay. This is the way the world ends. Yay.